Jenny, I just don't know what we're gonna do. Mm. Hannah really wants to go to Westland, but I don't think we can afford it. You know, that may not actually be true. Emma qualified for the TWU pledge at Tennessee Westland. She's gonna be a bulldog, tuition free. But how's that even possible? It's a program that offsets the cost of education for local families. That sounds like a great option for us. You just need to go to tnwestland.edu and check it out. Tennessee Wesleyan, where dreams meet affordability. Mix 104.1 WCLE, welcome into our broadcast here this afternoon. So glad to have you a part of our uh, broadcast here. It's exactly 1.30 on a Saturday afternoon as we get set for lots of basketball. It is March Madness, and we are in full force today. I'm Dwayne Williams, going to be part of the, the state pregame uh, show here presented by Tennessee Wesleyan University where they invite you to choose blue. Uh, for more about that, go to tennesseewesleyan.edu. Choose blue, choose Tennessee Wesleyan University. Again, we're live in our Key of Cleveland studios. You just heard from John Davis, Key of Cleveland, uh, where they are open today. They'd love to see you. But, man, back to the action here inside our studios today between Mix 1041, MixTV.TV, and then also on our website and on our app, Plenty of ways to listen to this state championship game that's going to be played here today. Of course, Bradley is looking for their second in a row. That's right, second in a row state title as they'll get uh, underway here about 2 o'clock this afternoon. Taking on Bartlett, who Bartlett uh, unfortunately took care of business yesterday against our other hometown team, the Cleveland Blue Ra Lady Raiders as uh, they were victorious there yesterday in game one of two games that we covered, 65 to 55. But what a great season for the Cleveland Lady Raiders behind first year coach Bianca Hensley. Uh, did a tremendous job with the Lady Raiders this year, but they fall a little short uh, there at the glass house yesterday. We was hoping we was coming on the air today having something that's never happened before, which was a Cleveland Bradley matchup for a state title. But Bradley takes care of business as they win big there yesterday, beating uh, beating Coffey County in the second game you heard here on Mix 1041, uh, 55 to 35, a 20 point win uh, for the Barretts there of uh, Bradley Central. They had a good good crowd there yesterday as we were uh, listening to the game here on Mix 1041 and MixTV.TV. Don't forget you can uh, listen by going to our Facebook page, our website, and using the Mix 1041 app as we've got you covered whatever platform you would like to listen on today. Again, we kind of did a little bit of a setup there for our pregame show. It is going to be Bartlett taking on Bradley Central. Now, if you are someone who says, well, that sounds a little familiar, well, that was the setup last year. Last year, uh, that was the, the case that uh, Bartlett and Bradley played in that state championship game last year. And, of course, Bradley was the winner of that game. Uh, last year, Bradley won over Bartlett 58 to 49 in that final game. And uh, Bartlett, no stranger though to being at the Glass House. They are three and one over the last two seasons. Uh, actually, four and one now with with that win there yesterday over the the Lady Raiders. So that one loss, of course, makes sense that it went to Bradley Central, the Bearettes there last year in the state championship game. Again, last year, which is just to let you know. Uh, it was 58 to 49 was that final last year. Again, uh, unprecedented uh, grounds that Bradley Central is trying to do two state titles in a row, and that will be their eighth straight, not eight straight, but eight titles overall if they can beat Bartlett again this year. Uh, of course, the Panthers of Bartlett looking for revenge of, uh, of that loss that they did take there last year in the final. So this will be a great matchup. Our guys very excited, already set up there at the broadcast point there at the Glass House at MTSU. Gary Owenby and Steve Wills will be live on the call here on all the platforms that I did mention to you a little bit earlier. All right, also, as I mentioned, it's a very busy basketball day for us here. Very, very proud also to tell you about the Lee Lady Flames and Flames. We will carry their games as well as they are a part of their tournament play. Uh, right now, Lee Lady Flames on the road at Union uh, University. That will be a 315 tip off, and that will be on our sister station, Talk 1013 The Buzz, and that's presented by CHI Memorial. And then tonight, the Lee Flames will be at home there at the Walker Arena, taking on the University of Alabama in Huntsville. That's an 815 tip that you'll also uh, be able to check out right here uh, on our sister station, Talk 1013 The Buzz, also presented by CHI Memorial. Then a big game. 
as the regular season will end for the Tennessee men, the Volunteers, uh, ranked number four right now, playing great basketball, have won three SEC games in a row. They'll try for four tonight as they'll take on a tough opponent, ranked number 15, Kentucky, and uh, that will be in Knoxville, and that game will be right after our state championship coverage here. We will not be in a hurry to, to get out of that coverage, especially if the Barretts are victorious. Uh, we'll do post game uh, with Gary and Steve and hopefully get some players and Coach Reuter to be able to come on and, and talk about that second straight title. Uh, that is the plan and that is the hopes for Bear Nation today. But as soon as that game comes to a conclusion, uh, we will join in right here on Mix 104.1, your home of the Vols basketball, taking on Kentucky again. And that's presented by our friends from Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union. So a uh, very exciting time here in our studios at Mix 104.1. Again, I'm Dwayne Williams, uh, kind of setting in, just setting up the day to make, make sure that you're on track to knowing exactly what is going on. Again, Bradley playing for a second straight state championship. That's uh, unprecedented waters there. But, uh, you know, uh, we know that Bartlett, the, the Panthers are going to have something to say about that. Uh, we know that they've got a couple of big girls that play very well, one of those being Carrington Jones, uh, who carried basically the team there yesterday. Uh, they, they played well in the first half there yesterday, Bartlett, uh, hitting lots of three-pointers. And so that's going to be something that the Barrettes will need to, to make sure that they're guarding there. And then, of course, uh, other uh, players, uh, including Williams and Rickster, Ward, and Hamlet, those are some of the other players that we heard here yesterday on the radio uh, when Greg Phillips and Terry Evans was doing their game as uh, Bartlett uh, uh, again beat Cleveland yesterday to make it to this state championship game. Again, our pregame coverage is presented by Tennessee Wesleyan University. Tennessee Wesleyan University invites you to choose blue. On Tuesday, April the 9th, you're invited to visit the beautiful campus in Athens and experience all things Tennessee Wesleyan, including learning about generous financial aid opportunities, the academic, social, and athletic advantages that Tennessee Wesleyan offers, and meet with current students and faculty. Now, to learn more, visit TennesseeWesleyan.edu. Choose blue. Choose Tennessee Wesleyan University. We're going to take our first break in our pregame show, again, presented by T TWU. We'll come back in just a minute. We're going to go live to MTSU and talk to the guys that are there. Uh, that's going to be uh, calling the game for us again. Gary Ownby, the, the voice of everything Bears and Bearettes. Steve Wills, his counterpart, will be there uh, at their broadcast point. Of course, as always, all season long, high school basketball is supplied by Wholesale Supply Group. We'll take a break right here. We'll be back with more in just a moment as we'll head to the Glass House in Murfreesboro uh, for a state title game with the Barretts taking on uh, uh, the Bartlett Panthers. We'll see how it all turns out. The call of the game, again, can be listened to right here on Mix 1041, the Mix 1041 app on our website and MixTV.TV. Back with more in a pregame show in just a moment. Stay with us. Boytek Center for Orthopedic Care treats all orthopedic injuries, including neck and back pain. At Boytek Center for Orthopedic Care, insurance isn't a worry because they accept all insurances and can even get same-day appointments or even walk-ins. Digital x-rays are even on site. Boytek Center is also a certified concussion care specialist. Contact Dr. Boytek and his staff at 479-3600 for your appointment today. Did you figure out what you're gonna do for college yet? No, I don't think so. I'd like to go to Westland like you, but I don't think my parents can afford it. I bet they can. I qualified for a program and I'm going to TW tuition free. Really? How is that? The TWU pledge. It's a program they offer to local high school students that basically helps with their tuition. You should check it out. <laughs> Will do. Can you send me that link? Yeah. Don't let anything stand in the way when excellence is within reach. Tennessee Wesleyan University is the best value in higher education for East Tennesseans. Tennessee Wesleyan, where dreams meet affordability. You get a yearly checkup, shouldn't your air? With your local Lennox dealer, regular care equals perfect air. With technology you can touch, comfortable air you can feel, and savings you can see. Not just perfect air, perfect for you air. Call Dale's Heating and Air to upgrade your air today. Lennox, air is life, make it perfect. Now at Hardy's, two hand-breaded chicken tender wraps are only $5. 
Choose your favorite flavors for endless combinations. Two wraps, just $5. Hardee's, goodness in the making. Get exclusive offers on the Hardee's app. President's Day sales event, save up to 15% no, off MSRP. This is John Davis, the trade-in man for Kia Cleveland on South Lee Highway. And we will overpay for your old car today. High mileage, cosmetic issues, that's okay. Rusted, busted, can't be trusted. All trade-ins are welcome. Just bring us your old car as is. Don't even wash it. You'll be shocked of how much I'm willing to pay for your old car in any condition. Come see me, John Davis, the trade-in man for Kia Cleveland on South Lee Highway in beautiful Cleveland, Tennessee. We're selling your car is as easy as one, two, three. Underway in full force for us here at Mix 1041, MixTV.TV. Also live uh, right now on MixTV.TV as the game will be there where you can listen to it from there. And then, of course, on our Facebook page, the app, anywhere that you're used to finding us will be on those platforms for this big game today. We're getting ready to head out to the uh, to MTSU in the Glass House where our broadcast team, Gary Oldby and Steve Wills, will be live on the call as Bradley will be playing for a second straight title uh, against Bartlett. It is a rematch of last year's uh, game where uh, Bradley Central, the Bearettes, did win 58-49, to hoping for a similar result for that today as we get set for that broadcast here in about 20 minutes. Our pregame coverage is presented by Tennessee Wesleyan University where they tell you to go and choose Big Blue. I tell you what we're going to do right now. We're going to choose to go out uh, to MTSU, up to MTSU, as we get set with our broadcast partners there. Gary Owenby on the call with us this afternoon. Gary, how you doing, buddy? Doing great here. Exciting time here in the Glass House, of course. It's always exciting to be here in Murfreesboro, whether you're here in the first day or the second day or third. Of course, we're in the championship game again against the very same team that we played in this championship game one year ago. Uh, the Bartlett Lady Panthers out of Memphis area. It's uh, unusual to be playing the same two teams back-to-back, uh, -back, but that happened as recent as 2013, Riverdale and and uh, Dobbins Bend, I believe it was. They played back-to-back -back years, and I think Riverdale won both of those. But it's, nevertheless, the Barretts are here. They come into the game with a 33-1 and record, and the Lady Panthers are 30-10. and They've played 40 games somehow, but they played a lot of tournaments and a lot of those out-of-state Matter of fact, I was telling Steve here a minute ago that uh, you look at their record, 30 and 10. Well, they've lost 10 games. They can't be very good. But I'm telling you, they played 11 out-of-state teams. They lost to eight of those, so eight of their 10 losses to out-of-state teams. And one of them was to Knox Catholic, who just won the private school state championship last weekend. And Bradley has played them twice and beaten them twice. And uh, the Lady Panthers have split with them. So I don't know if that means anything at all, but it's interesting to look at. But it's a great night. We have a great crowd here from Bradley already here. It's the first game of the day. They've already had a Middle Tennessee ladies game this morning. We sort of had to hold back a few minutes to get in because we had to clear things out and get all the TV crews out and radio crews out and clear press row here with all the things that they have set, just like we do for high school games here. But we're here set to go and uh, look for an exciting time, and I think it's going to be a challenge for the Bears, but I don't think it's a challenge we cannot overcome and, and bring home another gold ball. That's what we're counting on. All right, again, All right, we're, again live we're live on Mix 1041, Mix TV. Mix TV. TV. Gary Oldby, Steve Wills getting ready to bring the call from the glass house there as Bradley Central, Bradley Central will try to will play, try to play for, a for a second straight title here, here just in a few minutes against an opponent that they are used to, uh, to dealing with, which is going to be uh, Bartlett, the Bartlett Panthers. And uh, that is something that we're very excited about. Uh, Gary, uh, Gary, so my, so my, question, my is question is to you, uh, did you guys, uh, did you guys stay, stay early get there early enough to watch the Cleveland, Cleveland game there yesterday, yesterday and, what is, and what is your thoughts? Yes, we did. We were here. Matter of fact, I think we were here when they tipped that game off. And, of course, they lost at 60, uh, see, 50, let me get my score here, 60-44. They won that game. They lost 65-55. There's my score, 65-55. They had uh, a chance. Cleveland didn't play very well yesterday, in my opinion. I've seen them play several times. I don't know if Bartley would consider that a good game for them, but there was a lot of mistakes made. Cleveland fought back, though. They were down by 10 and fought back and got 46 to 44. And here you are thinking, hoping that they're going to overcome and tie it, maybe take the lead. And had a chance, had the ball two or three times in a row with the ball and a chance to either tie or take the lead. Could not get over that hump. And then uh, Bartley reeled off 10 straight points, and that pretty much decided the game there. That was late in the third period, I believe, is when that happened. And they went on to win it 65 to 55. Very good Cleveland team. And, the good thing about them, just like the Barretts and just like uh, Coffee County, very, very young team. Cleveland with two seniors, Barretts with only one. And uh, 
Coffee County has zero seniors on their team, so you can expect to see Cleveland, Coffee, and Bradley all in that mix next year, I think, when it comes time to get the postseason. That's a long ways off, but uh, it's something always fun to look forward to. All right, uh, All right, again, uh, again we're, we're going to be talking to our, our team there, there in just a few minutes. Going to throw it to them in just a minute or so. Uh, Gary, uh, Gary and, Steve, and Steve, tell me the keys to the game, to the game before, we before we take a break. Well, <laughs> I, I think stand out of foul trouble, especially early. Uh, you don't want foul trouble any time, but you don't want to pick up two in the first quarter. If you do, you're going to be setting. Josh Rogers asked me that very question the other day on our, our Wednesday game, I guess it was, or I said – he said, in one word, and I said turnovers. I said, we have to eliminate ours, and we've got to force them into turnovers, which our defense can do quite handily. So, uh, I, And we've seen them last year, and they've, they don't play like the Barrett's play most of the time. They play a different style of basketball, and uh, they're, they're a dangerous team, very dangerous team. They're a very, very good team. They wouldn't be here in the state's championship game if they weren't very good because there's nobody here that's uh, a weak team. All right, guys, we're, right, guys, we're going to take just a quick break, break and we'll come back to you here in just a, here in just a couple of minutes. Again, that's Gary Owen B. Steve Wills. Uh, they are live at MTSU on the campus there at the Glass House as we get set uh, for hopefully a second straight title uh, for the Bearettes who will be playing Bartlett, the Panther, Lady Panthers there today. So stay here with us. We're going to take our final break. We'll come back, uh, kind of put a cap on the pregame show, and then we'll throw it live to our broadcast team there. So stay with us. Mix 104.1 WCLE. When injuries happen on and off the field, C4 Sports Therapy offers a total body functional approach. When most people think of plumbing and electrical supply houses, there's an idea that they're just for plumbers or electricians or builders to shop at. Wholesale Supply is proud to be open to the public and proud to serve our communities. By supplying the best quality products for the best prices with the best service guaranteed, Wholesale Supply is your one-stop shop for everything plumbing, electrical, and HVAC. To find a location near you, visit wholesalesupply.us for more. Helping build communities in the Southeast for over 80 years is just what we do. Paula, tell us about how you came to shop at Chattanooga Auto Square. Well, I was introduced to it from my husband. He purchased his first Range Rover years ago. Then occasionally I'd start asking him if I could start driving it. I would confidently recommend them. I mean, they make you feel like family from the moment you arrive. Being in real estate for over like 34 years, you really come to value and appreciate the level of service that Range Rover gives you. Chattanooga Auto Square Luxury lives here. Hi, I'm Brian Poole, sole owner of Poole Serenity Funeral Home and Cremation Services of Cleveland. It's going to be more of our uh, discount funeral home and cremation center. We'll offer $895 cremation that will come with a wood urn. Only other charges the family have be for death certificates and permits. That's it. No other hidden charges, no other hidden fees. And we have a traditional burial package, $4,595. That does include a casket and the services. You can reach us at www.pfhserenity.com. Four minutes uh, as we get set for the Bradley Central Barrettes taking on Bartlett in that state title game. We are hoping for a second straight victory for the Lady Barrettes. This is the final recap here of other games coming up for us this afternoon. The Lee Lady Flames will be at Union University, 315 tip off. That will be on Talk 1013 The Buzz, presented by CHI Memorial. And then a little bit later, the Lee Flames at home as they'll be at Walker Arena taking on the University of Alabama in Huntsville, 815 to tip off there at Walker Arena. Also, that game can be listened to on Talk 101.3 The Buzz. And following our game here, our state championship game, we'll have the Tennessee men take it on Kentucky uh, in the final SEC matchup of the regular season uh, for the Tennessee men, and that is presented by Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union. All right, so it's time for us now to head to the glass house uh, as we get set for that. Gary Owenby, we're going to throw it to you. All right, welcome to the Glass House here on the campus of Middle Tennessee State University for our final basketball game of the year, a championship game for the 4A goal ball between the Barretts of Bradley Central and the Lady Panthers of Bartlett coming out of the Memphis area. The Barretts coming at 33-1. and one. Lady Panthers come in here at 30-10. and 10. They played 40 games this season, and they look you look at the record, as I told Dwayne earlier, they'll see those 10 losses, you think, well, they're not very good. Well, let me tell you, they play 11 games against out-of-state teams, and eight of those 10 losses came against those out-of-state teams. And another one came against Knox Catholic, which uh, they split with Catholic, and the Barrett swept Knox Catholic. And Knox Catholic just won the private school state championship last weekend, so a very good team and tough schedule for both of these. Coach Ruder loaded up the schedule early in the year. And I was looking last night, the teams that he has played, 
like River Ridge, 26 and 5, ranked number one in Georgia in 6A and defending state champs from last year. Good Hope, Alabama, 33 and 2, just won the 4A title in Alabama and ranked number one in Alabama. Spring Garden, Alabama, 31 and 3, the other one loss to Bradley Central. So that's some tremendous records. Western and Georgia, which beat the Barrett's, ranked number two across all classification in Georgia, is 27 and 4 on the season. So the Barrett's have played their own tough schedule. And I think that's what shows, Steve, that yeah. toughens you up and, and lets you know, even if you lose, that's what Rudy says, we want to win, but if we lose, it shows us what we have to work on. Yeah, I mean, to have a quality schedule like that was extremely important for this group. And there, our games is always presented to you by Wholesale Supply Group. You're listening to the Tanova Healthcare Broadcast Booth. I'd like to remind you about the Tanova Health Walk-In Clinic. It's open seven days a week. The Barretts are about to take the floor. They've had warm-ups. Bartlett's on the floor, and we'll have a tip-off at 1.07 to be exact. So if you're expecting to tune in at 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock, actually, I'm keeping on the eastern time zone or central time zone right now. We've been here so much. Uh, it will be a 2.07 tip-off live here. As here come the Barrett's on the floor for a huge crowd. Great crowd by far. Biggest crowd the Barrett's have had. And Bartlett being from Memphis, well, this, they have I'm, cheerleaders. Yeah, they. you're right. They have cheerleaders. Right now, both teams at half court in their prayer huddles and uh, almost touching each other. So close. Neither one wanted to move an inch. So we done got a little fracas going on out there. Uh, we'll start one. No, we, we don't, folks. Just kidding there. But glad to have you with us here on, on our pregame show brought to you by Tennessee Western University. Those folks up in the friendly city, appreciate them stepping in here. All of our great sponsors, folks, I keep telling you, without our sponsors, you're not going to be hearing this broadcast here on Mix. 104 are on Mix Radio, a Mix TV. It's also being carried live on the NFHS network, which is a subscription network. If you subscribe to that, you can find it. It's also live on local TV back in Chattanooga. One of those two stations, I'm not sure which one it is because I'm never there to watch it. But uh, anyway, it's live on one of the Chattanooga stations, not the network station, but some of the locally owned stations there in Chattanooga. Everybody getting warmed up now as both teams go through their final warm-up drills, through the layups and dribbling drills here. From the glass house, we're 10 minutes or so, yeah, 10 minutes and 20 seconds away from a tip-off the game here. Officials are assigned by the TWSAA from areas outside of where either of these teams would have played their regular season games. There's all kind of TV coverage here today, as you might expect, and a lot of things going on. This game will take a little bit longer than normal games take, but that's okay. We're playing in the championship games. Yeah, so. we're going to have some media timeouts in under five minutes, I understand. Yep, and at the end of the game, we'll have the presentation of the all-tournament team for classification 4A, and it will take place right after this game here. Have a presentation of the trophies to the coaches. They always give each coach a trophy, and the cheerleaders will get a trophy as well. And then they'll name an MVP after they announce the all-tournament team. So it should be an exciting time. Last year, Barrett's won it, 35-1 record. They won it here over Bartlett by nine points. And this year, and last year, let's go back to last year, Kamora Fields, as a freshman, no less, a freshman's named MVP of the state tournament last year. As we had, uh, see, Harmony Ware was on the all-tournament team. Uh, Avery Brewer. Avery Brewer, and Sloan Jones. Carpenter was on that. So different, we lost some seniors last year. So the ones that are back, we'll see what they can do today. Should be a fun game. The key, Dwayne's asked about the key. I said turnovers, and Steve said foul throw, but also getting off to a good quick start. Yeah. And getting the other team's head as best you can. They did. Do what the Barriers do. Yep, do, and that's do our thing. Let's take our first break of the game here on our pregame portion program, and we'll be back in two minutes with more live coach here on Mix 104.1 and Mix TV. During Chevrolet's March Truck Season Sales Event at Don Ledford Chevrolet, we have a deal you can't pass up. When you buy any 23 or 24 Sierra 1500 Light Duty Silverado, qualified buyers will get special financing at only 2.9 APR for 72 months. Come in now and save big at Don Ledford Chevrolet on North Lee Highway, Cleveland, or go to DonLedford.com for details. Don Ledford Chevrolet, where we say yes, Chevrolet, together, let's drive. Plus tax, tag, and title and dealer dock fee is $649. 2.9% financing for 72 months is for qualified buyers and is equal to $15.15 .15 for 1,000 finance. See dealer for details. 
ends April 1st, 2024. Tennessee Wesleyan University offers more than 80 majors and minors at the undergraduate and graduate levels. With the TWU pledge, students may be eligible to attend tuition-free. A 10 to 1 student to faculty ratio ensures students receive individualized attention and Tennessee Wesleyan remains one of the most affordable colleges in the region. Visit tnwesleyan.edu to learn more about on-campus and online opportunities. Choose blue at Tennessee Wesleyan University. All Safe Storage was founded over 35 years ago by Ed Brown right here in Cleveland. And now they've grown to five locations in Cleveland and Bradley County. Get a free Penske truck rental when you rent a storage unit at All Safe Storage and get your first month free. Call 479-6377. That's 479-6377. First month free and a free Penske truck rental at All Safe Storage and visit allsafetn.com. Two of the world's most iconic brands, M&M's and Twix, are made right here in Cleveland at Mars Wrigley, and they are hiring. Production assistant positions starting at $16.19 per hour and team member positions starting at $19.27 per hour plus a $1.50 shift differential and a $1,500 sign-on bonus. Benefits begin day one. Apply at careers.mars.com and search Cleveland. That's careers.mars.com. Mars Wrigley and Cleveland. Your tomorrow starts today. Back here at the Murphy Center right now, the coaches, Coach Jason Ruder and Coach Wes Shapley are being called to midcourt to meet with the uh, tournament administrator and the lead official here. And they're giving them last minute instructions like they don't know what they're doing, but they, they've been here enough. It's good to good to see them again here, and uh, I know you know what they're thinking, Steve Bartlett. Revenge, yeah, revenge. We beat them by nine. You know, we've probably been on the bulletin board for about twelve months. Yep, we beat them last year by nine points in that game here in the championship finals, and they're on the far end. We're about as far apart in the state as you can get for the most part here. Coaches being talked to right now, and administration explaining things. We're still about five minutes or so away here. Uh, we'd like to remind you about our, our pregame coach by Tennessee Western University. They invite you to choose blue on Tuesday, April the 9th. You're invited to visit the beautiful campus in Athens and experience all things Tennessee Western, including learning about generous financial aid opportunities, the academic, social, and athletic advantages that Tennessee Western offers, and meet with current students and some of the faculty. To learn more, visit tnwesson.edu. That's tnwesson.edu. Choose blue. Choose Tennessee Western. And we have a lot of Bradley Central, and well, not just Bradley Central, a lot of Bradley Countyans who went to our local high schools there at Tennessee West, just up the road from us there. But we're at the Glass House here in the Murphy Center today. The officials now are going to call over the captains, and Camorra Fields will step out for the Barretts. That's Harmony, excuse me. I didn't see her clear. That's Harmony Ware will come up. One of the juniors will start three or four juniors and a sophomore in our starting lineup for the Barretts. And look at the uh, girls from Bartlett. Let me just go ahead and give you the line. brought you behind the clean. Let's start with Bartlett first. They'll start number one at 5'8", senior Carrington Jones, averaging right at 11 points per game. That's 5'8", senior Carrington Jones. Number two at 5'6", senior Morgan Williams, averaging 7.3. Number 13, Zoe Rickster, a 6'1", junior, averaging six points per game. Number 21, Dakara Ward, averaging 4.6 points per game. She's a 6'2", junior, so they've got some size, 6'1", 6'2". And their final starter is number 22, a 5 8 senior, Samari Hamlet, Hamlet, sorry, Samari Hamlet, who averages 5.9 points per game. And they have a couple of off the, off the benches, averaging uh, 6, 7, 8 points per game as well. For the Barretts, they will counter against the Lady Panthers with, of course, number zero, a 6-foot sophomore, Kamora Fields, averaging 22.2 points per game. Number two, 5 6 junior, Avery Brewer, averaging 10.8 points per game. Number 11, a 5'10 junior, Harmony Ware, averaging 14.3 points per game. Number 20, a 5'4 junior, Malia Wilcox, running the point. And number 21, a 6'1 junior, Tatiana Stovall, averaging 12.4 points per game. So four starters in double-figure averages. And for the Panthers, who score a lot less, they have one starter in double figures. Matter of fact, looking at their stats, the Bears averaging 72.8 points per game. That's the highest scoring per game of any team in state barring any classification. They're giving up 35.5. That's a 37-point differential average to win the game at 37 points. And up until yesterday, we'd had nine straight running clock games in a row, including all the postseason up until yeah. yesterday's 
Second, even the, even the Southern State games, that, that was just unheard of. Yep. The Bartlett girls are actually 55 points per game. It's about 17 points per game less than the Barrett's. They're giving up 39.5, so they've got a good defense. So 55.6 versus 39.5, their differential is 16 points per game. Like to throw numbers out there, but numbers mean nothing until they're on the scoreboard and in your favor. The only common opponent we've had this season is Knox Catholic, which I mentioned earlier that Barrett's won 64 to 42 at Bradley and 64 53 on the road, while Bartlett won 55 to 52 by three points and lost 41 to 29 in two games there. Bartlett also won the Andrew Johnson uh, Greenville Ladies Classic, which is probably the toughest tournament outside the state tournament, I think. Yeah, exactly. So they've been here five different times to the state. This is their sixth trip. They're eight in four. Actually, this is their fifth trip. They're eight in four in those trips, and their best finish was last year when they finished second to the Barretts, and way back in 1928 when they ran up those two times. They're eight and four in those five trips. The Barretts have been here 34 times. This is their 34th time to be here, which is a state record for most appearances at the state tournament. And during that uh, 34 times, the Barretts played 83 games at the state tournament level. That is unheard of. They're 46 and 37 in those games, 46 and 37, because you know you're going to have a loss if you don't win it. Oh, and they've won seven of those. Look at the eighth goal ball, and hopefully we'll have to enlarge the trophy case at Bradley Center. Let's take another one-minute timeout here on Mix 104.1 and Mix TV. We'll be back with more live coverage from the Glass House in Murfreesboro when we return. I'm Chris Cassid with Critical Power Solutions. We are your local authorized Generac dealer for all your backup power needs. Don't be left in the dark. Make a power move. Invest in a Generac Comb Standby Generator. Call us today or visit us online at criticalpowersolutionsllc.com. Bradley Concrete and Lamcon Ready Mix is a family-owned business and has been serving Cleveland for 40 years. They work with customers large and small. Call Bradley Concrete at 423-479-4541 or visit lamcon.us to find out more. Do you suffer from unsightly leg veins? Are your legs turning brown or swelling? Do your legs feel heavy, tired, or achy? Do you have restless legs or leg cramps disturbing your sleep? These symptoms are signs of bad veins. Dr. James Gooden at Milligan Vein offers an office treatment that can make you look and feel better, and your procedure is covered by most insurance. Find more information online at milliganvein.com or call Dr. Gooden today at 423-961-5682 and get rid of those bad veins. Back here at the Murphy's the teams are lining up for the introductions, and I think, I'm not sure if we're going to have the anthem first or the intros first. We'll find out here with along with you. Clock is at 22 seconds and running down to zero, but tip-off is scheduled for 107. That's because of TV. We'll have a pregame lead-in here. We've already had our pregame show with Dwayne Williams. Good to hear Dwayne back on the air, helping us out here. He loves these events just as much as we do. Barrett's today, the home of the visiting team, dressed in black, trimmed out in gold, of course. And the Lady Panthers are the team in white with blue numerals. And I think we're going to have the anthem first. Well, let's see right here. They're getting all the cheerleaders lined up, telling them to look at the flag. <laughs> this is all choreographed, folks. This is all choreographed. And we're going to have a singer, I think, will sing this live. As everyone's already standing up, we'll keep it here for just a moment on Mix 104.1. Bears 33-1. Lady Panthers 30-10 and 10 coming into today's encounter in the 4A state championship game. Bears trying to go back-to-back. It has happened in the past. It has happened with the same teams in the same championship game. Not just Bartlett and Bradley, but Riverdale and Science Hill. That was the other team. Riverdale and Science Hill back to back in 2012 and 2013. And now we're going to have the anthem, I believe. We'll try to pick that up here. Here comes the anthem now, folks.
We'll keep it here for the introductions. I thought they'd have someone sing that. It would have been louder on the PA, but they had uh, pre-recorded. And now they're going to have uh, well, their hand in the bear. It's a microphone. And the Bartlett cheerleader microphone. I'm not sure what this is all about. We're Each one of them's got something to read there. Yeah, they got a note in their hand of some kind. Let's listen on, in, on this as well when they begin, see if we can pick that up. Don't know the name of our cheerleader. I wish I did. I'd be glad to give it to you. But if you're watching on TV, you'll see this is going out live. Should be. I think the Bartlett cheerleader will read hers first. She's poised to read it anyway. Bartlett in their blue uniforms. And we're not being picked this up. Folks, let's go ahead and take a one minute break. We'll be back at more coverage on Mix 104. One in 60 seconds. We'll return here to the Glass House at the Murph Center. Back in 60 seconds. All right, Brooke, so tell me, why did you choose Auto Square? Um, we were just blown away by the customer service. What my husband especially really loved about it is that we did not feel pressured in any way. We kind of fell in love with the car and the people. The person that went over the car with us with all of the features was super patient, very detailed. I will definitely be back to Chattanooga Auto Square. Uh, no question about that. Chattanooga Auto Square. Luxury lives here. Voitex Center for Orthopedic Care treats all orthopedic injuries, including neck and back pain. At Voitex Center for Orthopedic Care, insurance isn't a worry because they accept all insurances and can even get same-day appointments or even walk-ins. Digital x-rays are even on site. Voitex Center is also a certified concussion care specialist. Contact Dr. Voitek and his staff at 479-3600 for your appointment today. Back here live, boy, that's exciting. The lights are out. They got the spotlights on. The Bears will be introduced first. They show the missing team. And here comes Kamora Fields, number zero for the Bearettes. Avery Brewer, the next one to get the call. They come out and greet by the rest of the team, the cheerleaders. And Buck Fields for the officials and shake hands with the opposing assistant coach. Harmony Ware, the next one to be called. Malia Wilcox introduced me in new medical order. And then number 21, junior Tatiana Stovall for the Bears. So Stovall, Wilcox, Ware, Brewer, and Fields for the Bears. And now for the Lady Panthers of Bartlett. Back here for the second straight year in the finals, just like the Bears. They'll start Carrington Jones, who will go through the line again. She's number one. Number two, Morgan Williams. Number 13, Zoe Rickster. Number 21, Dakara Ward. And number 22, Shamari Hamlet. For Coach Wes Shapley. They're dressed in white. Barrett's in blue. They're in black, sorry. And we're about ready for a tip-off this game here from the Glass House. Our final basketball broadcast of the year, but what a way to end it. Couldn't ask for a greater setting here. Exactly where you start out the season wishing to be, dreaming to be, and sometimes dreams come true. It takes a lot of hard work in the process to get here, though. Now the lines are back on. Both teams are on the floor, about ready for the tip. I'll be Tatiana Stovall, and she will be challenged by number 13, Zoe Rickster, a 6'1 junior. So 6'1 junior against a 6'1 junior tipping it off. Bradley on the TV screen from our position here at Press Row will be working left to right. And I'm not sure where the home camera will be for this, but waiting for the TV, the pregame, we're going to stop like this. Over here to our left is the young lady who's doing the TV hosting, I guess. And she will be, and only when she gets through will we tip this game off. And she's through, and there's the horn. We're ready to go now. The officials we recognize from seeing them earlier this week. I've seen some of them in college calls. He walks the center court. Here comes a toss in there. It's going to be tipped into the hands of Harmony Ware for Braddon Sinclair. They'll take the first possession. She's going to have a chaser behind her. Didn't see her, and here's a nearly lost on a steal attempt. They'll go in the corner. Avery Brewer drives that baseline up for the left. Shot is too hard. No good run by Stovall out of bounds to Bartlett. Stovall had to think Brewer and her racing over it. Knocked it away. 
Bartley will bring it in backcourt. This is the girl that jumped center. It's going to be Zoe Rickster with an R. She will take the return pass, go in the corner. Three point range will not shoot. Rickster back out top now with Carrington Jones. A couple of Jones girls on. Here's Carrington on the drive, and she will be fouled by Stovall. Oh, man. They're going to call this one tight. At least from that foul, it's her first, team first. At 731 in the opening quarter play. We've seen this yesterday. Kamora Fields got two fouls in the first two minutes. It's been a, a long time. As Barnett inbounds will come into Rickster. Rickster wants to drive. She's against Kamora Fields and, and gets pulled off there. Samari Hamlet with the ball out top now. She's a little girl. Where's that wide head? But here's a shot up off the glass. No good rebound. Bartlett shot up, blocked, taken away by Stovall. That time is Dakara Ward was going to shoot it. Harmony Ware inside low, off the glass, shot is no good. Missed the bunny, rebound Bradley. Brewer for three, shot is no good. Rim Bradley, Ware up, and she's got two in the Barrett's lead. First score of the game. 6.55 in the opening quarter play. I don't expect to see this a high scoring game. No. And ball lost in backcourt, picked up by the Barrett's. And here they go, three on two. Brewer, three-point range. We'll back away and wait for her teammates. That time, was, I don't think it was really a steal more so than a bad pass by Bartlett. Brewer with a five count on. Goes to Ware. Ware cross court all the way to Brewer. Left side now. Avery goes to Kamora. She's out top of the key. She's wanting to drive through the lane. She does. She goes up for two. Shot good. And she drew the foul. Four nothing Barrett's. Gary, we have a big crowd here. Yes, we do. Foul is on number 13. That's Rickster. No, excuse me, 21, 21. I was reading his hands backwards. I'm on the wrong side. Dakar Ward, their big junior. Free throw by Kamora. It's no good. Rebound by Bartlett. Four-nothing Barretts. Let's give Kamora a basket. And here's a drive all the way down. Shot up, missed, rebound, out of bounds to Bradley. Oh. It looked like, okay, we'll take it. No comment. It looks like he's <laughs> out on them. Yeah. Harmony. Well, inbounds comes into Wilcox, and there's a triple team in backcourt. She's going to spin through and just race around all of them. Ahead, the Barrett's out of the break, three on one. Kamora going to the hoop for the layup, and she's going to be fouled. No, oh, Nicole Walker. She did a spin move there. Got bumped into the call for walking. 4 0 Barrett's at 6 7 to go in the championship game in 4 A here at Murfreesboro. Into front court through a double team is going to be Samari Hamlet. Down low shot is good. Nice move by Hamlet. Nobody stepped up to stop her. 4 2. Here's Brewer. Uh, had it, lost it. Almost out of bounds. She's double team. They're trying to get out of there, and she's, she can't call time. Five counts on. Five counters on. She got lost the handle on the ball, got trapped against the baseline, could not get rid of the ball, and nobody went to her. She could not get out of there. Two big girls on her to five uh, counts. I was hoping she'd throw it off somebody's foot. Yep. And the front court, they'll come with it now. Here's a drive by Rickster. Shot up, no good around Bradley. Taken away by Wilcox. Wilcox will speed through there. Cross court pass to Harmony Ware. Harmony right side, three point range. Looks to go inside the store. Boy, look at him working on stove all there. She's gra grabbing her and holding her. Harmony keeps the dribble alive. She spins through the paint. She'll shoot a three shot. No good. Too hard to be on Bartlett. Play the Panthers going the other way. And there's a bumping foul on Bradley. Yeah. Malia yeah, Wilcox can't do that. Not a smart move by Malia that time. Just rubbing against her all the way down the floor. A little too much. Get the ball back to Bartlett. 5-16 to go. 4-2 Barrett's in the first period. Here on Mix 104.1. Our game supplied to you by Wholesale Supply Group. Rickster gets a screen, wants to drive against Kamora, and she is trapped. She's in trouble, and shot up no good rim Bradley, taken away by Kamora this time. Letting them play physical, folks. Call a couple of, you know, sort of cheap fouls, I guess. Boy, they're letting them play rough right now. Cross court to Brewer, looks to coach. Looking to go inside to Stovall, can't do it, or to uh, Kamora. Out top again, Wilcox, checked by Rickster. On to Brewer. They're gonna play tough tight. Defense. They are a very, very good team. 434 in the period. 4-2 Barrett's. Slow start, not really a slow start, but just a filling each other out kind of start. Figuring out what they can do, what they can not do. Harmony Ware gets cut off on the drive. Lost her dribble, picked it up, maybe. 
And, oh, yes, yeah, she has it. And wide open is Stovall for two. A great save and a feed that time to Stovall. I believe that was Wilcox got that to her. 6-2 Barrett's before. In backcourt is Hamlet. Deep corner. Here's a long three-shot air ball across. Street bound by Bartlett up. And it's good for two by Jones. That's Carrington Jones. 6-4 score. Brewer in backcourt to Wilcox. Back to Brewer. She'll bring it across into front court now. Boy, there's a lot of guys right there around that half line. You got to stay away from there. Look to go in there to Kimora. He nearly had a steal on. Here goes Kimora inside. She's going to be fouled. That's uh, two on her, I believe. That's Ward, 21. And, yep, she's going to check out real quick like. Yep. Yep. So their big center, a post player who jumped center, will check out with two fouls at 3.43 to go. At the end for her be number 31. That was going to be Samaya Jones. Also a big one, 6'2", sophomore. I believe somebody just called time. It's a TV timeout. TV, TV timeout at 3.43 to go in the first quarter play. 6'4", Barrett's. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Do you think about your heating and cooling system? Imagine thinking even less about it and all for one low monthly payment. Dale's Heating and Air offers carefree home comfort. The trusted technicians will install an energy right heating and cooling system with no repair expenses for 10 years, all for one low monthly payment. Plus, there are rebates and tax credits for up to $4,100. Thinking less about heating and cooling just got more affordable. Contact Dale's Heating and Air, 423-236-4000 or justcalldales.com. Hi, I'm Brian Poole, sole owner of Poole Serenity Funeral Home and Cremation Services of Cleveland. It's going to be more of our uh, discount funeral home and cremation center. We'll offer $895 cremation that will come with a wood urn. Only other charges the family have be for death certificates and permits. That's it. No other hidden charges, no other hidden fees. And we have a traditional burial package, $4,595. That does include the casket and the services. You can reach us at www.pfhserenity.com. Congratulations to the Cleveland Lady Raiders. Got the final four and lost the game yesterday, 65-55 to this Bartlett team that the Barrett's are facing. And we're in the middle of a TV timeout and also a Tennessee Valley urology timeout. I'd like to remind you also about one of our new sponsors, Milligan Vane. Do your legs feel heavy, tired, or achy? Do you have restless legs or leg cramps disturbing your sleep? And my wife would say, yes, you do. Dr. James Gooden at Milligan Vane offers an office treatment that can make you look and feel better within a day. And your treatment is covered by most insurance policies. Visit MilliganVane.com. That's MilliganVane.com. Or call Dr. Gooden today at 423-961-5682. That's 423-961-5682. Steve, 6-4 score, halfway through the period. Not what we used to seeing, but. No, but it's, it's, it's two good teams filling each other out, seeing what you can do and what you can't do. Different battle uh, in the championship thing. Everybody's afraid to make mistakes for yeah. one thing. Different, two different styles of play. Yep. Coach Reuter sitting with his folks. We'll have a, a TV timeout in the middle of each quarter. And they tell us they last 90 seconds. Well, this is about three minutes and 90 seconds long, I believe. But nevertheless, it is championship game. We're glad to be here with you on Mix 104.1 and Mix TV as well as NFHS Network. I think this game is live back home on the local, one of the local Chattanooga stations. Looks like I'm going to also put in a new sub, number 14, Brooklyn Spates, S-P-A-T-E-S, a 5'8 senior will check in after the break. For the Lady Panthers out of Bartlett. That's a community right there near Memphis. And the Barrett's will come back with the same five before the timeout. So 3.43 to go in the period, 6-4, Barrett's up by two. It'll be Barrett basketball in backcourt. <laughs> Bartlett has some fans here. Bradley has a band here again today. And a, like a busload of kids. I don't know if they're on a bus or not. Bradley with the ball in front court now. Malio Wilcox, one-on-one. -on -one, goes to the right side against Brewer. And, boy, Stovall is getting hammered inside. They've got a different girl on her now. Maybe they're going to try to intimidate her. And they'll move Stovall outside. Come over into the paint. On to Malia. Here's Brewer wide open for a three ball. Shot is no good. Rebound on the backside by Malia, and why is that not a foul? Ooh. Brewer, left side now, down low to Kimora. She's going to go up strong. No, can't shoot. She gets triple teamed. Here's a steal by Rickster going the other way, one on three. And they knock it away out of her hands off of Bradley, though, off of Brewer, they say. 3.07 to go in the period, 6-4 Barrettes. First quarter of the championship game here for 4A girls basketball. 
Inbounding will be Samaya Jones, who just checked in, number 31. She'll come in to Carrington Jones. Here's a shot up, short rebound, Brandon. Taken away by Harmony Ware. Harmony with three defenders looking at her. She'll just dribble by all of those and bring it across into front court. Harmony, one on one, and we'll go to the hoop for a follow away shot. It's no good, but a foul. It's going to be a foul on Rickster, number 13, and she'll shoot two for Cleveland Utilities. Let me double check with the fish. My latest one three. Yes, it is. Rickster's first, team fourth. So one more. Let's see, we had three shooting fouls. And this is another one. And one more, we'll shoot five, uh, two the rest of the way at 248. Free throw is good by Harmony. Harmony's picked up her third point. Seven for Barrett. One more shot coming up. It's up, and it's also good. Now, Harmony four. was eight for eight yesterday with one contact missing. Yep. Had to take the other one out so she could see. Carrington Jones with the ball. She'll shoot a long three shot is good. Nice. She's her lead scorer, and nobody was in her face at all. And three point shoes will burn you like that. Eight seven bears by one slim point right now. Malil Wilcox across, looks to the coach, gets the call. Reverse to the right side. Reverse again to the left, going back to the left. Well, now she's going to stop and give it up to Kamora. Well, they're not, they're fronting Stovall. I'm not going to let her in there. Here's Kamora off. Oh, no, a charge on Kamora. A lot of contact, and they call it for charge. That's her first team third. I'm sure they've watched her to drive to the basket. In for the Lady Panthers, number 12, Akia Woods. She is a 5'8 junior. Bartley balling back over the chance to take the lead with a score. Eight, seven bears at 2'10 now in the first quarter of play. Rickster goes to the left side to Spates, who just checked in at the timeout mark. Here's Carrington Jones on a drive. Inside, gives it up. Ball tipped and knocked away, but saved by the Lady Panthers. Rickster with the ball. Wants to drive. She does. All the way through. Shot. No good, but she'll draw the foul. I believe that's Stovall. I believe that's Stovall. That'll be two on her if it is. Yep. Stovall has her second foul. And she will check out as Eddie Garen will check in after the first shot. Just like yesterday, one of the inside players gets two quick fouls. The free throw is no good. That's Carrington. No, that's Rickson shooting. Eddie Garen in. Tatiana Stovall will check out. So size-wise, we don't lose a whole lot. Age 5'9". One more shot coming up for Rickster. This one is up. It's no good. Down to Bradley. Eddie Garen gets her first touch of the ball with a rebound. Here's Wilcox. Long lead pass down to Brewer. At three-point range, she'll gun it. No good. Rebound by Camor inside. She's going to be fouled, and she'll shoot two. It's going to be two on Rickster, I believe, now. So the big girls for both teams getting in trouble. Rickster has her second. Already have two on Dakara Ward, who's 6'2". Rickster 6'1". And Harmony Ware will go to the line. Or it's Kamora, excuse me. Can't see their numbers for the hair. Kamora shooting two. First one is good. She'll have another. Another good free throw shoot. Nine, seven errors by two with 139 in the quarter. One more shot. It's battling student sections right now. <laughs> Shot is also good. 10 7 bears by 3 at 139 to go. I think they'll loosen up as the game goes on. Yeah. <laughs> Carrington Jones wants to drive. She does. She comes open. She'll shoot. She'll score. Nobody. Nobody on her that time. She left Wilcox behind. Here's a pass in front court now to Brewer. She'll spin through the double team, go to the left side. Down low to Kimura. Arrest Harmony shooting three. Shot is no good. Rebound Bartlett. They treble one with the ball. Quickly in the front court is Spates. Ahead to Carrington. Who lost it out of bounds, but it's off of Brewer again. 105 now in the quarter. You listen to championship coverage of girls 4A in Tennessee on Mix 104.1 and Mix TV. 10 9, best by one. Bartlett though with the ball. Here's the ball stolen on the inbounds pass. Just ripped away by Kamora. Fields ahead, two on one. Brewer down low to Harmony Ware for an easy score off the steal. Wow. 12-9 Barretts. 
We roll down to 40, and they're going to lose it on out of bounds. As Carrington Jones had it with nobody around her. Just lost concentration on that pass. Yep. Back in is going to be number 22, Samara Hamlet. And she will replace Rickster, who has two fouls at 44 seconds to go in the opening quarter of play. Eddie Guerin, long outlet pass ahead to now to Kamora Field. She wants to go one-on-one -on -one down low to Harmony. Can't shoot. Ball knocked that and stolen away. Bad pass to Harmony that time. Jones going the other way. Two on one. She'll go up and she will be charging. Yes, Jones gets a foul as she ran right through Avery Brewer. No, it's Malia. Malia. Is it Malia? Okay. 12 9. And be Bradley Ball in backward with 31.3 to go. I believe Jones is going to get a break. Number two back in, Morgan Williams for the Lady Panthers. Brewer inbounds to Malia Wilcox. They're in a full court. Almost a zone press here. 25 seconds to go. Malia Wilcox will bring it into front court. The lead pass to Addie Guerin. Addie returns it to Wilcox. 19 seconds to go. They're going to hold it from one shot. Wilcox works to the right side. Clocks at 13. Coach is having his Barrett's come out further away from the goal. Clocks at 7. Addie Guerin, can she shoot it? Nope, she cannot. Harmony going to step up into the paint. Shot up. Good at the buzzer. Harmony Ware knocks it in her third bucket and eighth point is 14 to nine. Bears by five, their largest lead after one period here on Mix 104.1. Well, air games are always supplied to you by Wholesale Supply Group. We'll be back in one minute with more live coverage. 14 9, Barrett's by five after one period. Tennessee Wesleyan University offers more than 80 majors and minors at the undergraduate and graduate levels. With the TWU pledge, students may be eligible to attend tuition free. A 10 to 1 student to faculty ratio ensures students receive individualized attention and Tennessee Wesleyan remains one of the most affordable colleges in the region. Visit tnwesleyan.edu to learn more about on-campus and online opportunities. Choose blue at Tennessee Wesleyan University. At Crawford's Pharmacy, you're not just a number, like you are at a big box pharmacy. You're a person with a story. That's why we get to know our customers and their unique needs. Yes, Crawford's Pharmacy can do everything that a big box pharmacy can do and more, but they can't do what we do. Come and experience the difference at Crawford's Pharmacy. I'm Chris Cassid with Critical Power Solutions. We are your local authorized Generac dealer for all your backup power needs. Don't be left in the dark. Make a power move. Invest in a Generac home standby generator. Call us today or visit us online at criticalpowersolutionsllc.com. It's time for the Tenova Healthcare Health Tip with board-certified interventional cardiologist, Dr. Ted Richard. Vascular medicine focuses on the care of your circulatory system outside of your heart and the conditions and diseases that affect arteries and veins. Tenova Healthcare Cleveland offers a range of services for the prevention and treatment of vascular diseases. Please visit tenovacleveland.com slash cardiac care for more information. Not all composite decking is the same. Enjoy life's beautiful moments on an equally beautiful composite deck. Envision's products feature deep, non-repeating grains and distinct colors throughout each pour, offering a truly unique appearance unlike anything else on the market. Learn more and find inspiration for your project at Cleveland Plywood. Cleveland Plywood Company, 2700 20th Street Northeast in Cleveland. Back here to Murphy Center, getting ready to come out of a TV timeout. There'll be two-minute breaks between quarters. And even though we had two minutes, they're still holding up. Just like in football, when a guy in a red hat steps out on the field, you can't do anything. So they've got a guy directly across the way, I guess, who's stopping play at this point. Bradley will come back to the same five that begin the game, except for Eddie Guerin, because Stovall has two fouls. She's on the bench. She got those about, oh, with about three minutes left in the period. And for Barton, they've got two of their big girls with two fouls each. Zoe Rickster, let's see if she's back in. No, she is not. And number 21, Dakar Ward, and she is back in there. So she's got two fouls. And so does Rickster. Horn sounds, now we can begin play. Morgan Williams out top now to Carrington Jones, who has scored four, five, six, seven of their nine points. On two buttons, and here's a long three shot. Good, nice three point that time by Morgan Williams. They've got two of those. 14 12 the Barrett's by two after that three pointer. Kamara Fields into front court. She'll go to Annie Guerin for a long three, and it's no good down though by Fields. Takes away from a teammate down low. We go to Harmony. 
Harmony goes up. That should have been a foul. Could have been. Looked like she chopped her there, but it's out of bounds to the Barretts. 7.29 now in the half in the girls' 4A state championship game. The Blue Cross Basketball Championships, they are formally called. Down low, wide open is Kamara with two more. 16-12, there's by four at 7.20. It will be Hamlet back in the game. She'll shoot a long three, and it's an air ball rebound, fought for, and saved by the Lady Panthers. She's double team trapped in the corner, and it's going to be a jump ball to, oh, five, five count. Oh, jump oh. ball. Oh, he said five, then he called jump ball or alternate, so it'll be Bradley basketball. He, he signaled five. Yeah, one Maybe said, just trying to get the attention. One said five, one said jump ball. So. And it'll be inbounded to Harmony Ware. She's a junior. Brewer's a junior. Wilcox a junior. Eddie Garen a sophomore. Hank Moorefield's a sophomore. Pass down low is deflected out of bounds to the Barretts. Harmony trying to hit a cutter. That's Malia Wilcox cut through the lane. So it's six. 52 and a half, 16, 12 Barrett's before they'll have the ball right baseline. Eddie Garen will inbounds. She'll come in long and high to Kamora Fields, who will drive into the lane for the layup. Shot is good for two. She's got eight. 18, 12, the lead at six. That is our largest lead. Matches our largest lead. That is our largest lead. We live by five at the break. And the five count is on for Karen Dyers. Could have been a charge as she slammed in. And there is a foul in backcourt. Let's see who this one's on. Man, if it's 21, that's going to be three, is it not? It's 21. On 21. She's got three fouls. The car award, their big post player, and she will immediately check out with three fouls at 6.30 and a half. And I'm not sure what the, we're waiting on here. She tried to check in and wouldn't let her in now. Well. I'm not sure what they're pointing at. She went to the bench to check out, but they wouldn't let her check out. I don't think they had the sub in the area that they have to be in when the horn blows. Oh, that, yeah, I bet you're right. So she's still in the game. Boy, I'd go right at her right now if I had the ball. I wouldn't hesitate one second. And inside, left corner, three-pointer, no good man. Bartley taken away that time. Pull away by Carrington Jones. 18 12, Barrett's by six at 6.05 to go. I had to stop from entering and try to figure out what the officials were doing to keep her in the game. I understand now. Here comes a drive and a pull up. Shot blocked by Kamora. Grabbed back by Bartlett and they'll score. That's going to be 21 to Carr Ward. With three fouls, she'll score her first points. 18 14, the Barrett's by four. 5 47 and a half. A little lazy pass by Brewer. Nearly got stolen, but Kamora Fields saved the day. Pass cross court. Brewer for a three ball shot is bottom. Brewer for her first three. 21 14. The lead is now seven. The largest lead at 5 30 to go in the half. Rickster. Cross court to Hamlet. Back to Rickster. Here comes the drive. Oh, she lost it out of bounds. Okay. And here comes the sub in. Back in number 14, Brooklyn Spates. Also, number 12, Akaya Woods back in the game. As Ward will check out, no space will come in. Well, they're not going to let her in. No, she was, she was running up. Here She's comes be there. inbounds pass at some point. And the five count on the inbounds. Kamora Fields prevent her from inbounding the ball. Coach Ruder talking to the official. We'll have a commercial come up as we roll under five minutes here, a media timeout that we'll take with them. Brewer trying to inbounds, comes in to someone, maybe timeout, it's going to call time. Coach Reuter says we need a time and couldn't get it in, and this will be a 30, I believe, right here. Yeah, it'll be a quick 30 timeout here. Let's remind you about some of our great sponsors, the Voitech Center for Orthopedic Care for all your orthopedic needs. Call Voitech.com. Dale's Heating and Air, just call Dale's.com. Also, Alon Printing, now's the time to create a winning game plan for your future. 423-315-1441. Chick-fil-A, load take it at Keith Street, Paul Huff, download the Chick-fil-A app today. Some of our great sponsors here help us present basketball all season long as we're in the final day we can have. Now, the boys' tournament is next week, begins on Wednesday, but we don't have an involved team there from either of our local schools. 
unfortunately. Maybe next year. It's always next year. Right now, the girls here at Bradley lead 21-14 at 520 in the half. Low scoring first half, 21-14 to Barrett's leading. And I think we'll probably keep Stova on the bench the yeah, rest of the half yeah, since I'm it's a low scoring sure. game. We got the lead too. The way it's going. They've got three fouls on Dakara Wood. And our 30-second timeout has turned into another TV timeout. So they may take this instead of giving us one later at the five-minute mark. Yeah, that's what they're doing here. Let's take a uh, let's take a break here. Let's take a 30-second timeout on Mix 104.1 and Mix TV. We'll be back in one half minute from the Glass House in Murfreesboro. Bears up 21 to 14 at 520 in the half. When most people think of plumbing and electrical supply houses, there's an idea that they're just for plumbers or electricians or builders to shop at. Wholesale Supply is proud to be open to the public and proud to serve our communities. By supplying the best quality products for the best prices with the best service guaranteed, Wholesale Supply is your one-stop shop for everything plumbing, electrical, and HVAC. To find a location near you, visit wholesalesupply.us for more. Helping build communities in the Southeast for over 80 years is just what we do. Back here at Bradley Central. Bears up 21-14, the girls' championship game. This is 4A. it will be the 1A following this game, the 2A to follow that, and then 3A will wrap it up for girls' play this year in Tennessee high school basketball. But after our game today, we'll have the presentation of the all-tournament team as well as the coaches who get a plaque for both teams and the cheerleaders. I think we get a plaque. Steve, do we get a plaque? We should get a plaque. Get a plaque. We should get a plaque. That's okay. Be Bradley basketball in backcourt up 21 to 14 as Harmony Ware will inbounds and all the Barretts are back in backcourt and Harmony will oh she cocks her arm to throw a lot and that ball's knocked away and it's turned over right like that in the bucket. I thought there was a kick. Oh my goodness. Just when you think you got a chance to go up even more, you turn the ball over, giving them a free easy bucket. And there's a double team by Wilcox. Another turnover for the Barretts out of the timeout. Seems like we lost our brains during the timeout here. 21-16, five-point lead for the Barretts. Sloppy, sloppy ball handling on two consecutive plays, giving them the ball. Here's a long three, but Jones shot it. There's no good run. Bradley takes it away. Eddie Guerin has it. She'll go to Wilcox at 4.45 and a half. Wilcox, here's the old thumbs down play to Eddie Guerin, left side. Garen gets a screen, looking to return it on a give and go, couldn't do it. Harmony Ware out top with Brewer. They're going to be in Brewer's face after that last shot. And she's fighting off Rickster, who's got two fouls of her own. Harmony Ware down low to Malia, inside low, wide. Oh, what a feed and a blown shot by Harmony. Gets it again, up one more time. No good block, rebound. Malia Wilcox has it. Here's Brewer for two, shot, no good. Rebound by the Barretts. Harmony Ware up. No good, but she'll draw the foul, and she'll shoot two. That's going to be number 13. Oh, that's going to be three on Rickster if that's her. Let's get the call. Yep, that's going to be Rickster with her third. So two, two, two is on. That's three. Board's late. Check and see here in a minute. They've got two on the board. Okay. Shot is good by Harmony Ware. She'll shoot one more. That's for Cleveland Utilities. She's got three, six, eight, nine. Next shot is also good. That lead is six at 22, 16. As Rickster checks out, and in will be number 31 again, Samaya Jones. They've got some good size. They match up well with the Barrett size-wise. And, and they're the quickest team I think we've seen overall. 4.08 in the half. Barrett's by seven at 23, 16. That matches their largest lead. This is Spates with the ball out top, checked by Malia. Ball tipped away by Kamora, stolen by the Barretts. Avery Brewer picks up the loose ball. Kamora knocked it away. We roll under four minutes here. Addie Garen wide open on the three-point spot. She goes in for the layup. Shot is blocked, though. Should have shot the three ball. Has it blocked. She was no match for the big girl inside there. It would be Carrington Jones down low to Morgan Williams and kicks it back to Jones far side. She wants to drive in the lane. She does. Shot is up good. I don't know why we can't step in front of her. And here's a throw away on a bad pass by Wilcox, but it's knocked out on a horrible pass that time. We're taking really low risk, high percentage, or low percentage passes. Come on, girls, this is not you. 23-18, Barrett's by five. 
And they have the ball. Wilcox with a five count on it. She's got to get rid of it. And a five count. Yep, she broke it finally. Nearly had it called. And they go to Harmony Ware. Harmony at three-point range. She will not shoot there. She goes to Avery. Avery will pump it up there. Gets a screen. Nope. Going to go the other way. Five count was on Avery. She'll go now to Harmony or Kamora. Kamora on the drive through the lane. Goes up for a shot. It is no good, but she'll draw the foul. She'll shoot two more. Let's see who this one's going to be on. I think number one, the way she's reacting. Nope. Number 12 or 13. 12. 12. That's 12. Akia Woods. We just checked in. Fish on the opposite side of where we're at. We have to try to read your fingers from here. And here comes Harmony Ware shooting, or Kamora Field shooting two. 23-18, Barrett's by five. First shot is no good. She'll have another. Out goes Carrington Jones. Back in is number 22, Samari Hamlet. One more shot at 257 in the half. Field shoots it, and she's got it. She's got three free throws, three buckets for a total of nine. 24-18, Bears by six. Hamlet out front, checked by Wilcox. Goes to Spates. She'll bring it back out top. Goes cross court now to Woods in the corner. Here's a drive, and she gets cut off, though. Nice move by Wilcox. She's walking in there, shot up, no good, rebound. Ripped away by Kamora, trying to get Alec Pass. She'll be fouled. And you better watch the reaction there. She slammed her hands on the floor. It's going to be number 12 again. Woods, her second. And team third. Bradley has four. No, excuse me. Bradley has none in this period. We're at 232 and a half, 24-18. Barrett's by six with the ball in backcourt. Right in front of us. Brewer will inbounds. She will come in. Let's see. At some point, they're defending the inbounds pass very well. Wilcox. In the front court, goes to Eddie Garen. She will shoot the three this time. It's too hard, and rebound Brandy's. Brewer had it, picked up though right now by Harmony, up for two, shot good for two. <laughs> Harmony has got 12 points. It's 26-18, our largest lead of the game, eight points for the Bears. Here's the drive down low and a foul on Bradley. It's going to be Wilcox blocking, I think, before she was shooting, but let's see. Foul is on 2-0. And he didn't indicate two, but she's at the line to shoot two. Wilcox, second foul. And at the line is number 22, Hamlet. She has a two-pointer so far. Her first free toss is good. Back in with Carrington Jones and Rickster for Bartlett. At 208, one more shot coming up. For Hamlet. She's a small girl, five, I say she's five eight, but it's a tad short of that. Missed rebound Bradley, taken away by Kamora Fields. They're trying to follow Bradley's girls up the floor and blindside him behind, like the wolf call they always say. Avery Brewer, three point range, spins free, goes the key onto Harmony. Harmony has done good work inside today. Back to Kamora. Kamora. Picks up her dribble now. Got to get rid of it. Goes to Addy. Wanted to go inside to, to uh, Kamora. And they get inside to Kamora. And she'll be inside. Backs up. Shot up. No good. Gets her own rebound. Back up. Blocked this time. And Rickster has it. Lost it. Out of band. No. We got a jump ball. <laughs> That's a Boston Crab wrestling hole right there. Jump ball to Bartlett. And she got tied up in there with Harmony Ware. Had a scissor lock on her, look like. And the replay, we look in there. Harmony, boy, bodies everywhere there. Oh, it's turned upon somebody. Uh, that's going to be on number 14. Yeah. So number 14 picks up a foul, her first. It's a technical. That counts as a team foul. So now they have committed five. And Brewer shooting two free throws. Then we'll have the ball. Free throw's good. Not sure what we said. There's a dog pile down there with her and Harmony. 
And obviously something was said. Next free throw is missed by Avery. Beat Bradley Ball, though. 27-19, eight-point lead at 1.27 to go. End of the game will be Morgan Williams. Addie Gamble inbounds right in front of Press Row here. She'll come in to somebody finally, and it's Harmony Ware. Ware down low to Kamora. She will go up strong, and she's going to be having her shot blocked. Boy, she is double teamed on either side. At 120 to go, Bradley Ball left baseline. 27 19, Barrett's by eight. They led, what, six to four in the first or something like that. And Addie Garrett at three point range goes down low to Harmony. Boy, she comes wide open as her defender fell down, and Harmony scores an easy bucket. The lead now at 10, 29 to 19. Here comes Rickster on the drive. Gets cut off. Kicks it back now to Jones. That's Samaya Jones. And she'll find Mo Williams. And here's Williams on the drive. A little pull up from the key. Shot too hard. No good rebound. Bradley has it. And right now the Bears are rolling. Malia Wilcox at 54 seconds to go. I wouldn't slow it down. I'd push it the pedal harder right now. Wilcox gives the old thumb down play. Rickster guarding her, but she's not close enough for the five count. Here comes the five count. Here goes Wilcox on the drive. She'll reverse it, go back out top. Bradley may hold it from the final shot. I believe they will now at 38 seconds to go. Cross court, they'll take it to Harmony Ware. Eddie Garen fakes the three-point shot, goes back out top, gives it to Kamora. Down low, wide open, Harmony for two. They'll take that. Yeah. She's got 16 points. The lead is 12 at 31 to 19 as we approach halftime. Here's a drive inside oh. a walk. Got away the walk. A long shot by Spates. No good run by. We got a jump, jump ball, ball to. It'll be Bartley ball. That'll be good. Barrett's will have it coming out if it's not another one. Inbounding is going to be Hamlet. She'll come in to Rickster in the paint. Lost the ball. Grabs it back. Trying to reverse. Go up. No, she's walking. Shot. No good rebound. Bartley. Boy, they don't call walking in this league. And here's the ball at the horn. They fall down and do not get the shot off. So at the halftime break, Barrett's enjoying a 12-point lead at 31 to 19. And we'll take one with them here. Let's take a two-minute timeout for Southline Finance. We'll be back in two on Mix 104.1 at the halftime break. 31-19, Barrett's on top. Game supply to the host of supply group. Back in two. Southland Finance, they are neighbors helping neighbors. Personal, installment, and consolidation loans up to $20,000. If you need extra cash, call Dusty and the team at Southland Finance. They offer a convenient drive through and an after-hours drop box for payments. Southland Finance is located at 950 25th Street, right in front of Ace Hardware. Call them at 423-458-3007 or visit them online at southlandfinance.net. All loans subject to credit approval. Alon Planning Partners. Alon is the Hebrew word for oak tree, which is a deep-rooted symbol of stability. Those are the types of financial plans we craft for the clients we serve. You can reach us at 423-315-1441 or at alonplanning.com. Investment advisory services offered through Foundations Investment Advisors, LLC, an SEC-registered investment advisor. At First Horizon, we know if there's a win, there's a way. Our team is here to help every step of the way with personal, business, or private banking. Stop by and visit us at one of our locations in Cleveland or give us a call at 423-559-7660. At First Horizon, we look forward to finding a way. Attention, business owners and managers. Bring your team for team building to Leisure Time Bowling. Leisure Time Bowling offers your company or organization the chance to have fun together with bowling, great food, and a private meeting space. Research shows that team building leads to greater business success. Call Leisure Time Bowling to make your reservation at 728-2988. That's 728-2988 or ltbowling.com. I'm Chris Cassid with Critical Power Solutions. We are your local authorized Generac dealer for all your backup power needs. Don't be left in the dark. Make a power move. Invest in a Generac home standby generator. Call us today or visit us online at criticalpowersolutionsllc.com. We're at halftime, brought to you by Southland Finance here on Mix 104.1. Our title sponsor, we appreciate them. There's about 30-something of those in about five different states, so Southland uh, Finance is glad to be part of that broadcast here. We'll look at the stats here in a moment. Just tell you how these two teams got here, though. 
Brad, of course, won the District 6, which is our new district this year, and then won the region and won the substate. So that's how they got here with one loss, 33 and one coming into today's game. That one loss to Westland, Georgia, in a game that uh, first game of the of the point where we lost Avery Brewer in that game there. The Lady Pants come in 30 and 10. They're out of Region 8, 4A, and District 15. They were unbeaten in their district and rolled through right here to the state tournament. In the state tournament, it was Bartlett opening with a win over Sevier County 54 to 42. In that same bracket, Cleveland girls opened with a 60 to 44 win over Lincoln County. They met yesterday in the early morning first game of the day and Bartley won over Cleveland 65 to 55, 55 to eliminate the Lady Raiders. In the bottom half of the bracket was Dobbins Bennett and Coffee County squaring off in game one on Wednesday with Coffee prevailing 48-39. Bradley Central and Mercy Road partial 62 to 30 in their game to set the matchup between Bradley Central and Coffee County. And the Bears won that in yesterday handily 55 to 35. So therefore Bartlett and the Bears are battling here at halftime on Mix 104.1 and Mix TV, where it's 31 to 19. The Bears up by 12 points. And uh, we're going to take a look at the stats here brought to you by Mountain View Nissan. Scoring for the Barretts. We have one player in double figures in Harmony Ware. What a well of a game. She's having 16 points today. 6 of 12 shooting. She's 4 for 4 to 3 throw line. She's had five rebounds and having a great game for the Barretts. Also having a great game, Camor Fields, nine points, three of five shooting, three of five free throws. She has six rebounds. She has one assist and a block. The other big inside girl, Tatiana Stovall, has picked up just two points, but she has also been plagued with two fouls. She's had a block and a steal. She's made her only shot from the free throw line. We have Avery Brewer with four points, and Malia Wilcox and Eddie Guerin both played the first half, but neither scored. The Bears says a team 11 of 28. Field goes one of eight three-pointers. A little cold there. They go through streaks where they're good three-point shooters, and then some where they couldn't hit it. And it's free throw line, Avery Levin will take that. That is 72.7%. They pick up 22 rebounds, only 19 for Bartley. Bartley scoring is led by Carrington Jones, little number one, with nine points. She's four of eight from the field, one of two on three points. Morgan Jones, who came in as a sub, has three points on a made three-pointer. Zoe Rickster has two points. Dakar Ward, two, and Shamari Hamlet has three. Akaya Woods, Brooklyn Space, and Samaya Jones also played, but they did not score. Let's look at the team shooting stats. Bradley, 11 of 28 for 39% in the half. One of eight from three-point range. That's only 12.5%. And, of course, that eight of 11 from free throw line. That's a big, big plus because you're up by 12 yeah. and you've got eight free throws there. And they free free throws, one. rebounds, points to the paint. For Bartlett, they shot a cold, not too bad, eight of 23. That's just 34.8% from the field. Two of six from three-point line and one of four at the free throw line. You're right. You win. I, I use the same quote I used in an interview with Reuter a couple weeks back that saying this, that offense sells tickets, defense wins games, and rebounding wins championships. Yeah. That's what Pat Summit and she was a pretty good basketball coach. Yeah. That's what she said. Anything jump out at you on the charts there, Steve? Uh, points in the paint. Barrett's leading 18 to 12. Uh, points off turnovers, 8 to 4. Second chance points, 10 to 4. That's big because that means you're getting offensive rebounds. We and, have and, it. And we're cutting their fast break points down. Uh, uh, they have zero fast break points. We have 22 rebounds total. 11 of those are offensive rebounds. 11 of them are defensive. And I know that's one of the things that coaches look at, how many offensive rebounds, because that's where those second-chance points come in. We get those offensive rebounds. We're at the Southland Finance Halftime Show. Remember Southland Finance. They're up at the corner of 25th Street and Peerless Road. Their website is southlandfinance.net. That's southlandfinance.net. And we continue with the Southland Finance Halftime Show here on Mix 104.1 and mixed TV. Let's take another timeout here from half. Bears up 31 to 19, a 12 point lead, trying to get our eighth goal ball, second in a row. And let's see if we can keep it going. We'll be back in a couple minutes here on Mix 104.1. 
Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland. Exit 20 of I-75 and cleveland-nissan.com. Home of the lifetime warranty. Also a great pre-owned inventory and an excellent service department as well. Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland. Family owned and operated. Mountain View Nissan of Cleveland. Cleveland-Nissan.com. Exit 20 of I-75. A friendly reminder from your friends at Toyota of Cleveland. Daylight savings time is this weekend, March 10th. So spring forward on your clocks and also spring into a new car. Toyota of Cleveland has the largest selection of pre-owned inventory in the area. The newly redesigned 2024 Toyota Tacoma is in stock with more arriving daily. Check out their whole selection online or in person at Toyota of Cleveland. Exit 20 and online at toyotaofcleveland.com. Since 1993, Check Into Cash has offered cash solutions to our customers. The application process is simple and the lending decisions are quick. If you've been approved, you can leave our store with cash in hand. Our loan options are built to handle life's small emergencies. We offer reliable payday loans and line of credit options. Visit our website at checkintocash.com to learn more about your options and when you're ready, Drop by our conveniently located stores in the Chattanooga area, including Cleveland and Athens to apply. We also offer various in-store financial services like check cashing, money orders, wire transfers, and even gift card buyback. Take the first step toward a bright financial future. We're here to help and aim to be your one-stop money shop. Not all consumers will call Eligibility, rates, terms, and conditions apply. Rates, restrictions, and fees apply to store services. Please call or visit your local store for details. Back here at the Murphy Center on Mix 104.1 and Mix TV. We're at the halftime point. The Satellite Finance, our great halftime sponsors. And we have a 12-point lead, 31-19 over the Lady Panthers of Barley. Being joined now by a good buddy, a guy we all know, Santa Claus, we call him, Joe Cannon. Joe, get your thoughts on the game the first oh, half. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> there you go. Well, it's looking good so far. Uh, you know, we're halfway there. Uh, I think we, it's, uh, we started off a little slow, but we picked things up. Uh, Harmony Ware, I'm honest, she's making a great case for MVP of this tournament. She's just really tearing it up there. You know, 16 points, five rebounds right now in the first half. And I don't know if, if you guys noticed a whole lot, but – Little of Malia Wilcox is sitting there with seven rebounds. Yep. Littlest gal on the court, and she getting down in there with them six footers and not backing down at all. She seems to know where the ball is going. Yeah, she does. And but uh, of course, here we had a little foul trouble, uh, like we did yesterday. Tatiana had to sit out for a while, but I'm sure she'll be back ready to roll. But uh, you know, it, it we've been able to counter uh, what Bartlett can do. Uh, we've been able to handle their speed pretty much i mean of course we're no slow team no we're not uh and so it, it's it's gone pretty good uh you know two fouls on stove off two on wilcox and mm -hmm. one on kimura yeah only five fouls called against us only uh, and ten called against them i see now yeah two on zixter and uh, rickster and three on ward their big girl inside so that hurt them yeah but they're let, the, the referees are letting them play really, really rough at times. Yeah. And sometimes uh, it's just like a little brush foul, they call it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what amazed me that, you know, they're letting them beat the far out of them down under the goal, but then uh, calling some little little stuff out here. But that's just the nature of the game. you got to get used to what they're going to call and what they're not going to call. Something that Coach uh, Reuter and Coach Carpenter always look at is offensive rebounds. Mm -hmm. Barrett's had 22 total and 11 of them offensive. offensive That's what you want. And 11 you, of them defensive. You want crashing that uh, glass when uh, you're shooting the ball to make sure that you can get a second chance if you can. And there's where 10 of those second chance points come from. Mm -hmm. Free throw shooting. We make 8 of 11. That's really, really good. Sometimes yeah. we a little off on free throw shooting, but 8 of 11 today. Yeah. They've only been to the line four times. They've made one of four there, and that's a huge factor in a game like this. Yeah. It's a 12-point lead, but that's not a big lead. No, it's not. Now, I think Harmony's uh, – 14 to 15 on free throws for the tournament. Yeah, she has but, really uh, had a good tournament. You know, I don't know. You know, uh, they were talking yesterday that she lost one of her contacts, and yep. uh, Ruder said he wasn't sure if he's going to let her put it back in for today after yesterday doing so well. But yeah, she played with just one for a while, and I seen her. They called, uh, had a break or something. She went over and took the other one out. Yeah. So I guess yeah. it, it's better than having just one and all that. But yeah. hey, what about the crowd in Bradley here today? Hey, great it's crowd. a great crowd here. I mean, a good sized crowd. Of course, this is. 
you know, being Saturday is spring break, you, yep. you never know. Yeah. But there's a lot of people here today. I, you know, I don't know what how you would estimate it, but uh, I'd say a good five, six hundred or more on the Bradley side. And Bart brought a decent crowd uh, coming all the way from from Memphis. So. Yeah, and for all you people who are on the way to the beach for spring break, mm-hmm. shame on you. That's right. I wish I was with you though. That's right. So, <laughs> give a shout out to them, but but uh, it's it's been a good year and. You know, this is where you want to end That's the it. last game of the year this in the state championship game. Every team in the state wants to be right here today. No doubt about it. And uh, you want to finish this off. We've well, got, uh, you know, 16 more minutes of playing time. Uh, and just got to keep doing what what they've been doing, you know, and, and uh, not turning the ball over and keeping their heads about them. That's what Reuter says. We just got to do what we do. If we do that, we'll be okay. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it just – well, Joe, thanks for joining us here on Mix 104.1 during our Southland Vance halftime show. We'll let you go back to what he was doing. If I run in your mouth over there with my coon, looks like. Oh, yep, 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 a yep. little bit. Trying, <laughs> trying to get a little scoop there. All right. That's Joe Ken, the sports editor of the Cleveland Daily Banner. Always makes the trips, and we appreciate Joe taking time to visit with us. As we have an extended time out here for TV purposes on Mix 104.1. We're not on TV, but this is on the network back home. It's 31-19, Barrett's by 12 points of halftime as we click down and get ready for the third quarter play, and we'll take another two-minute timeout here on Mix and return with more live coverage. This is John Davis, the trading man for Kia Cleveland on South Lee Highway, proclaiming Kia Madness. I know it sounds crazy, but we're rolling them out of here at whatever price it takes. Bring us any reasonable offer on any new Kia. Got an old car that you want to sell or trade? Bring us your old car as is. Don't even wash it. Worried about your credit? Don't sweat it. Our lenders have lost their minds, too. Qualified buyers can drive home in a new Kia with zip, zero, nothing down, no payments for the next three months. Plus, we'll get you out of your old car or truck, even if you have months left, are still owe thousands. Come see me, John Davis, at Kia Cleveland on South Lee Highway in beautiful Cleveland, Tennessee, where buying a car is as easy as one, two, three. Looking for the dealer who's going to give you more? Kia of Cleveland Superstore. 24 Kia Forte LXS, zero down, 349 per month for 84 months at 7.9 APR with zero down plus DT and L, negative trade equity, finance, and new loan subject to lender approval. Kia of Cleveland.com. Healthy food tastes good. Located at 4440 Frontage Road, right here in Cleveland. Paula, tell us about how you came to shop at Chattanooga Auto Square. Well, I was introduced to it from my husband. He purchased his first Range Rover years ago. Then occasionally I'd start asking him if I could start driving it. I would confidently recommend them. I mean, they make you feel like family from the moment you arrive. Being in real estate for like 34 years, you really come to value and appreciate the level of service that Range Rover gives you. Chattanooga Auto Square Luxury lives here. Back here at the Murphy Center, we're at the South Finance Halftime Shows. We get ready to wrap things up at halftime. Bears up 31 to 19 here on Mix 104.1. Again, the Bears being led by Harmony Ware with 16 points. Kamora Fields with nine. Avery Brewer with four. Tatiana Stovall with two. Malia Wilcox has not scored a point, but she has seven rebounds. The smallest girl on the floor, seven rebounds to lead either team in rebounding. Bears lead the rebounding charts 22 to 13, and 11 of those are offensive rebounds. Therefore, the 10 second chance points. So a good half of the Bears. They were up 14 to 9 after one, 31 19 after two. So they outscored the Lady Panthers 17 to 10 during that second period. And it'll be. Oh, they got a script. It should be our ball. Now they're saying it's the other way, but they had a jump ball down here that went to uh, them. They didn't change the arrow, did they? They had another jump ball down here. A guy's pointing over there. Well, they had a jump ball down here, then the tape point. He never did flip it. And it's going to be smart late basketball. Yeah. And Adam's over there. Adam Belfort raising Kane with the officials. But Bart is going to get it. 
as we start the third quarter play, the Bears up 31 to 19 as we end our Southland Finance halftime show here on Mix 104.1. We're game supplied by whole sales of Lagrid. Let's see the starting five back on the floor. Looks like both teams here. The ball slapped away and picked up by the Bear hits. Right like that. Well, that jump ball took care of itself. Yep. Karma, baby, karma. Brewer, right side to see what they're going to do. They're going to extend their defense probably because desperate times call for desperation. Inside, though, is Kamora Fields for two, and she scores. And, and there's they a violation. They turned it over on the inbounds. Give it right back to the Barretts. Inbound it. She wasn't all the way in before they flipped the ball back to her. 33-19, our largest lead of 14 points. Bradley Boss basketball. Harmony Ware comes in. Oh, she had Brewer for a second long. The goodness of Hardy's two for five dollar wraps just got better with Hardy's new breakfast wraps. Cheesy egg, bacon, sausage, even creamy homestyle gravy rolled up in a warm tortilla. So now you can mix and match your breakfast favorites all morning, then mix and match the hand breaded chicken flavors you love for lunch and dinner. Morning to night, get two wraps, just five dollars. Hardy's goodness in the making. Tax not included. Exclusion supply by time of day. See restaurant or app for terms. Cleveland Ford, where they are building something new for Cleveland. 2024 Ford Edge, $1,500 retail bonus cash, 60-month APR at 0%, 72 months APR 1.9%. 2023 Ford Explorer, $1,000 bonus cash, 60-month APR 0%, 1.9%, 72-month APR. Cleveland Ford, where they are building something new for Cleveland. ClevelandFord.com. We are Cleveland. We are Cleveland Ford. Exit 20 off the bypass and clevelandford.com. We are Cleveland. We are Cleveland Ford. Cleveland Tire Center, the name says it all. Score big with savings now at Cleveland Tire on Bridgestone, Firestone, Goodyear, and Michelin. See Cleveland Tire for all your automotive and maintenance needs. Cleveland Tire Center has earned the trust and the business of Cleveland and Bradley County with great service, competitive prices, and extraordinary products. Cleveland Tire Center, 4699 North Lee Highway, Cleveland. When you need a new roof, it's all about trust. Your home is too big of an investment and you can't afford to make a mistake. Cleveland Plywood has the products and expertise you're looking for. Contractors have trusted them for over 50 years. Cleveland Plywood carries only proven products from reputable suppliers like IKO. IKO Cambridge is one of the heaviest weight asphalt shingles you can buy. Ask the experts at Cleveland Plywood to show you why that's important. Plus, IKO's limited warranties are among the industry's best. Protect the investment you made in your home. Go with the pros at Cleveland Plywood. Visit them at 2700 20th Street Northeast in Cleveland. All right, Brooke, <laughs> so tell me, why did you choose Auto Square? Um, we were just blown away by the customer service. What my husband especially really loved about it is that we did not feel pressured in any way. We kind of fell in love with the car and the people. The person that went over the car with us with all of the features, was super patient, very detailed. I will definitely be back to Chattanooga Auto Square. Uh, no question about that. Chattanooga Auto Square, luxury lives here. When injuries happen on and off the field, C4 Sports Therapy offers a total body functional approach to rehabilitation and helps you get back in motion fast. C4 is a different kind of therapy, offering personalized treatment programs and performance training and analysis in our professional athletic training facilities in Chattanooga and Cleveland. Our experienced high-energy team is focused on helping you recover fully from injuries, regain fitness after surgery, and prevent re-injury. Take your performance to the next level at sportmed.com slash C4. Voitech Center for Orthopedic Care treats all orthopedic injuries, including neck and back pain. At Voitech Center for Orthopedic Care, insurance isn't a worry because they accept all insurances and can even get same-day appointments or even walk-ins. Digital x-rays are even on site. Voitech Center is also a certified concussion care specialist. Contact Dr. Voitech and his staff at 479-3600 for your appointment today. Sorry back to technical glitch there, folks. We're back on with you at 509 to go in the third. 35 21 of Bears, about 14. While you're away, we had a couple of fouls calling the Bears. Avery Brewer picked up a foul, Camor Fields, and Stoball, who has three now for the Bears. Brewer has two. And we have two on Camor. It is Bartlett basketball here at 35 21. Just a few seconds of action there. Here comes a drive by. 
Inside shot, no good. Rebound back up and in. Nobody blocked out. Man, somebody's asleep at the wheel there. And we got a turnover? Yep. It was bad pass, and Malia stepped on sideline. Okay, the 35-23 lead at 12, and we had a timeout call. This is a media timeout. Let's take a two-minute break here on Mix 104.1. A two-minute timeout for Tennessee Valley Raji. When most people think of plumbing and electrical supply houses, there's an idea that they're just for plumbers or electricians or builders to shop at. Wholesale Supply is proud to be open to the public and proud to serve our communities. By supplying the best quality products for the best prices with the best service guaranteed, Wholesale Supply is your one-stop shop for everything plumbing, electrical, and HVAC. To find a location near you, visit WholesaleSupply.us for more. Helping build communities in the southeast for over 80 years is just what we do. Check in the cash is your one-stop money shop and has been helping customers with cash solutions since 1993. If you're short on cash and need a little help to overcome a financial hurdle, we're here for you. Our Chattanooga area stores, including Cleveland and Athens, offer payday loans and flex line of credit options. We understand that doing the research for these loans can be overwhelming. That's why we strive to make the application process simple and convenient. We also provide quick in-store services like check cashing, money orders, wire transfers, and even gift card buyback. Want to learn more about your options? Visit our website at checkintocash.com. Our lending decisions are made quickly, and if approved, you can have cash in hand. Take the first step toward a bright financial future. We're here to help. Not all consumers will qualify. Eligibility, rates, terms, and conditions apply. Rates, restrictions, and fees apply to store services. Please call or visit your local store for details. Mix 1041 and Honda of Cleveland are giving one deserving pastor in our local area a chance to win a 2024 Honda Civic LX. Nominate your favorite pastor today at MyMix1041.com or on the Mix 1041 app. Tennessee Valley Urology is the home of the no scapel vasectomy. Find out more at TNValleyUrology.net or call 423-472-3201. Back here on Mix 104.1, where games are supplied to you by Wholesale Supply Group. Gary Olme, Steve Wills, coming to you live from the Glass House. You hear the Bradley Band in the background. Huge contingent of Bradley fans here. There's some others beginning to fill in with the upcoming single league game to follow, but we'll have the presentation of the all-tournament team, along with the presentation of trophies to the coaches and cheerleaders, and presentation of the gold ball to the winner of this game. Barrett's up 35 to 23 by 12 points. And Bartley with the basketball here at 448 in the third quarter play. Brandon's held serve here with 12 point lead at halftime, still a 12 point lead despite some uh, uncalled for mistakes, as you guess you could say. Here is a walk. Yes, sir. And a call against Carrington Jones. Give the ball right back to Bradley Central. They're going to press full court now. They've got to do something because they're down big here in the third. Inbounds back. There's a foul on Jones. Boy, she just flattened the barrette. Jones picks up her foul, her second. And it'll be team foul number one. Not a shooting situation. Bradley inbounds. Brewer inbounds on the baseline on the corner. Nope, going to let Army inbounds. All Bradley players in backcourt. Bartlett defenders are all back there as well. They'll flip the ball to Harmony, and she will bring in to Malia Wilcox. Easy entry pass that time. Wilcox spins through up the floor, dribbles around a defender, around another defender, goes all the way down to the baseline, up for a wide open. Stowall brings it down. Six points. Lead is 14 again, 37 23. Jones out top. This is Karen. She's got a sister, some, or another Jones, maybe sister, Samaya. Down low, shot too hard. As Stowe was there in the way, but a rebound on the backside put up at the end by number 31. She just had to let her go. She couldn't afford to block it. Samaya Jones. Bradley breaks the press ease this time. Two on two. Stovall to the left side. Backs away now. Wants to drive the baseline. Goes back to Brewer. She'll shoot the three ball. No good. Rebound taken away by Bartley. Picked up in backcourt by Ward, who was in foul trouble a lot of the first half. She's got three of those. And we have three on Stovall for the Barretts. Jones out top now with Rickster. Clock's at 3.33 in the third. Barretts at 37.25. Trying to get their 
Second consecutive and eighth go ball. And here's a ball knocked away by Brewer and then knocked away again by Kimura. And then she's going to be called for an unnecessary foul. Oh, my. Up at half court. That'll be her third. And team four, so they'll shoot two shots the rest of the way here in the third. 325. Coach Shapley giving instructions to uh, his players over there, Morgan Williams. In that's particular. the fifth oh, foul. That's the fifth foul. Okay, the board was a little behind there. So it was a fifth foul, so they will shoot two now. Who's that shooting? 21? Looks like 13. We can't see. We're blocked. Free throw's good. Quick. Uh, 21, yeah. 21. That's going to be Ward. Her first free throw, she has, what, seven points. She shoot one more. 37, 26, the lead 11. One more shot is up. It's also good. Ten-point game. Bears by 37-27. Inbounds will come in to Wilcox. Back to Brewer. And their defense is really tightening up. Wilcox will bring it across this time. Flips it to the right wing. That's Harmony Ware with the ball. Ware one-on-one -on -one against Rickster. Gets a screen from Kamora. Cannot shoot. Deep in the corner will go to Brewer. Good pass. You might have had a chance to... Uh, Put the three-pointer up there, but she will not this time. From Fields back to Brewer. Boy, they're tightening up the calls. That's a foul on the Lady Panther. I believe number one. Yep. Yeah. Jones, she has three. And back in number 14 is Brooklyn Spates. And Bradley's trying to inbound, so come in to Stovall. Stovall, left side to Brewer. Waiting on a screen from Stovall. Oh, he wanted to give and go back to her. Boy. <laughs> and here's Brewer. Open for the three ball. And no good. Rebound by Morgan Williams. And out of bounds to the Panthers. 241 in the third, 37 27. Barrett's hanging on to a 10 point lead. We've got uh, three fouls each on Kamora Fields and Stovall. They've got three on Carrington Jones and Dakara Ward. Rister brings it into front court. Wanted to go to space, but she's got Wilcox in her face. Back to Morgan Williams. Williams backs away. She'll shoot the three ball. Shot is no good. Rebound to the Barretts as Malia Wilcox with seven rebounds in the first quarter, first half, leads the team in rebounding. How does she do that? She hustles. That's how you do that. Brewer wanted to turn the pass to Stovall. Trying to get inside low. So they do, and there's a foul on the Panthers. That's going to be the fourth one now on Ward. Dakar Ward, number 21. Yes, yeah, she's got three. Make that four. And she will check out. And back in for them is going to be number 12, Akaya Woods. Team foul number three, so we're not shooting yet. Harmony, where to inbounds right baseline, 208 and a third. She will come in long to Kamora Field. Uh, more one-on-one. -on -one. I'd go right at these girls. Inside left shot, short, rebound. Going to Bartlett. Picked away by Jones. This is Samaya Jones. Goes to Spates. Back to Rickster now. 155 in the third. Bears by 10. Rickster on the drive. Stop, shoots, shot, good. Nice shot that time. That's her first points of the game. 37-29. The close they've been a while. Eight-point lead. Bradley in trouble in the backcourt. They'll go to Brewer, trying to get it across. And she will barely make it the 10 count. And there's a foul on the bump by number 12, Akia Woods. That's going to be her third. Team fourth will shoot. Each team will shoot two for the final minute and a half here. Harmony Ware to inbounds. Will come into Stovall. Looks inside low to Harmony. You want to go up? No, that's uh, Kamora. She'll draw a foul. She'll shoot two. This one's going to be on number 13, I believe. Yep. That's Rickster. She's got three. At the line, shooting two for Cleveland Tillies is Kamora Fields. She's made three of four. Her first shot. For Cleveland Tillis, it's good. Got the soft roll. 38-29, lead back to nine. One more shot at 128 in the third.
Moore, a second shot. She takes a long time. This one is short rebound tip. And Harmony Ware has a loose ball. She'll go up a fall away jumper. No good rebounds. And then picked up now by Kamora. She'll go to shoot. And it's no good. Rebounded by Morgan Williams. And she's in trouble in the corner in the backcourt. And, and they get a time. No, walking. Walking. Walking call on the. She was boxed in there. And it's a, and when you're that, she's just a little girl. Yeah. It's hard to get over them big girls when they got you cornered there. Bradley ball right in front of the Bradley bench. Harmony Ware will bring it in. She comes in to Wilcox at 1 11 to go. In the third now, third in third period. Down low is Harmony, and she's going to be fouled, and she'll shoot two. Make, no, I don't believe. Yeah, she's going to shoot two anyway because they've got yeah. five team fouls. Foul is on Spates. That is her first. And Harmony go to the line to shoot two at 106 as both teams now have five fouls each. Harmony's first free throw is up. It's good. She'll have another. She's got five free throws, 12 points field goal. She's got 17 to lead Barrett scoring. One more shot. It's also good. 40 to 29, lead back to 11 for the Barretts. That's a little better. They led by as much as 12, and right now it's at 11. Cross-court pass. Here's a drive coming up. No, she and she throws it right in the hands of Harmony Ware for the Barretts, and here come the Barretts the other way now. Wilcox, boy, she is a terrific ball handler and a point guard for the Barretts. Harmony, three-point range, drive the baseline, can't shoot, fall away inside to Stovall, who lost it. But it's knocked out by the Panthers. Clock stopped with 39 seconds to go in the period. Barrett's up 40 to 29. Got stop shirt. time to tuck their shirt tails in. Mercy. Harmony Ware inbounds for the Barrett's right baseline. She comes in low to Malia Wilcox, who spun through the paint, takes it back out top. They may hold it for one here. I'm not really sure. Stranger may be. Clock's at 31 now in the period. Bradley with an 11-point lead. They earn the double bonus. They get foul. Stovall holding the ball. Hands it off now to Brewer. The old give and go was not open there. They've covered Stovall up pretty good inside today. Kamara holds the ball with 14 seconds to go. On to wire back to Wilcox now. She'll speed through there and drive into the lane. Can't shoot, though. She'll kick it. In the corner, Harmony for a long three. Shot is boom. Good. Goes up dynamite. Harmony where the three-pointer at the buzzer, a 14-point lead. Wow. That's the way to work it. That's a shot. Shot of the game right there. 43 to 29. Advanced by 14 as we get ready for the fourth period here on Mix 104.1 and Mix TV. We'll take a 90-second timeout and return with the final period. Hardy's Philly cheesesteak favorites are back. Try the Philly cheesesteak burger. Sauteed peppers and onions with sliced ribeye atop charbroiled Angus beef with melty American and Swiss. Or try the new Philly cheesesteak breakfast burrito with sauteed peppers and onions, thinly sliced ribeye, melty cheese, and egg. From sunrise to supper time, Hardy's is reinventing the signature Philly classics. Available for a limited time at participating restaurants. Exclusion supplied by time of day. Hello, I'm Brian Poole with Poole Funeral Home and Cremation Services of Cleveland. I feel like we've got the most modern facilities, biggest facilities in the Cleveland area, uh, very spacious. We have four different visitation rooms. We have a big chapel, seat over 250 people. We have the capability now to live stream services that we didn't have before. Just a lot of opportunities and things that we can do different than other funeral homes because we have the space and the nice facilities. Let our family serve your family. You can reach us at www.pfhcleveland.com. Bradley Concrete and Lamcon Ready Mix is a family-owned business and has been serving Cleveland for 40 years. They work with customers large and small. Call Bradley Concrete at 423-479-4541 or visit lamcon.us to find out more. I'm Chris Cassid with Critical Power Solutions. We are your local authorized Generac dealer for all your backup power needs. Don't be left in the dark. Make a power move. Invest in a Generac home standby generator. Call us today or visit us online at criticalpowersolutionsllc.com. Well, folks, here we are. We're in the fourth period of the girls' 4A state championship game, the Bradley Barrett's defending state champions, 33-1, and one, trying to pick up their eighth goal ball in the history of Barrett basketball, be the third under Coach 
Jason Reuter if we hang on to this 14-point lead going to the fourth, up 43 to 29. And the Lady Panthers of Bartlett look for a little revenge after we beat them here last year in a nine-point game in the state championship final. Would Barrett say this is our goal ball to win again? It will be our ball as we start the fourth period of play with a 14-point lead. And Avery Brewer will be inbounding for the Barretts. Both teams with the starting five back on the floor. TV timeout is over. Brewer will come in back court to Malia Wilcox. To see if the Barretts are going to try to run some possession time with the motion offense, go for a high percentage shots as they'll go down low to Stovall, and there's a charge. Stovall backed into her, and the girl got a good flop, and that's going to be four on Stovall. That's a good call there. Yeah. Can't argue with that one. And she will stay in the game for the Barretts with 7.48 remaining. Nobody has fouled out. We have uh, Ward with four, and she's in there playing with uh, four for the Lady Panthers. And now Stovall with four for the Barretts. Kamora has three. Carrington Jones back in the game. She's got three. She'll drive. She'll shoot. She'll miss. Rebound will go to Bradley. Taken away by <laughs> Kamora, who lost it. And, boy, she's bumped by Rickster right there. And she'll go to Wilcox. Or Harmony Ware, actually. Ware into front court. Nearly ball, ball tipped away. Harmony out of position to pass it and had it knocked away. Going back the other way with 7.15 to go. Down low, Rickster, and she's going to be fouled by Kamora. That's four on Kamora. She'll shoot two. We need a timeout. 7.13 to go. Line to shoot two is going to be number 13, Zoe Rickster. They shot one of four free throws in the first half. And Rickster, uh, well, she didn't go. Yeah, she's 0 for 2 on free throws. Her first shot is good, though. That's her third point of the game. She'll have one more. 43-30, Barrett's by 13 with 7-13 in the season. For both teams, regardless, it's going to end tonight. Second shot by Richter is up, and it's also good. We've got a timeout call by the Lady Panthers of Barlett. This is a 30-second break. Let's take one with them for Tennessee Valley Urology. Back in one half minute on Mix 104.1, where games are supplied to you, a wholesale supply group. At Allon Planning Partners, we believe in better. A better way to invest, a better way to serve you, and a better result. Our process begins with us listening. Take advantage of our complimentary retirement strategy session by calling Jay and Brittany Hagee of Allon Planning Partners at 423-315-1441, 423-315-1441. Investment advisory services offered through Foundations Investment Advisors, LLC, and SEC Registered Investment Advisor. Back here at the glass house, just had a 30-second timeout call by the Lady Panthers of Bartlett, who trailed the match 43-31 to in the championship girls 4A game. Four games on tap today. We'll cover only this one. 1A is next, followed by 2A and 3A. We'll wrap up the girls' basketball season. They'll do all of this again next week with the boys. Boy, boy the crowd is really filling in now as the other teams begin to show up. Malia Wilcox, long, dangerous pass, but saved by Stovall in the corner. Back out top now to Wilcox. They're challenging every pass now. Here is Harmony Ware. Double team goes back to Wilcox. They have nothing to lose, folks, except the ball game, so they're going to go for it. Pass will go to Brewer on the right wing. Skips down low to Stovall. Doesn't even look at the goal. Goes back out top to Harmony. On to Brewer. Boy, it's hard to hold the ball for a long time against a good, quick team like this one. Harmony backs away into a double team. Steps through it. Goes to in the corner. Oh, they had a wide open look if they'd seen it in time. Back out top to Ware. Rickster checks her. Rickster with three fouls. Harmony wants to drive. To reverse the dribble. Goes back out top. She's be picked up by another defender. On to Stovall. This is something Bradley has worked on. They've burnt over a minute off here on this possession. Brewer goes to Kimura. And there's a bump, no call, and a throw away by Kimura. That's what you're afraid of. Trying to hold the ball in. 6 6 in the game. Burn over a minute off. Yeah. 43-31, the lead at 12. Morgan Williams bringing the ball up for the Lady Panthers from Bartlett. And you know they're going to go at Kamora and Stovall on the ground. Wouldn't you? Yeah. That's what I'd do. Here's Carrington Jones, drives around Brewer. Can't shoot it. Gets a screen. Goes into the paint. Wants to go up and shoot it. Shot is up. No good run. 
tip to Bartlett. And they got a double team on her, and here is time call. Timeout called by Bartlett. And we just come out of one, but we'll take another 30-second break for Tennessee Valley Raji here at 540 in the game, 43-31. This will be a TV timeout. They're going to change to a TV timeout. Let's take one, too. A two-minute timeout here on Mix 104.1. Do you think about your heating and cooling system? Imagine thinking even less about it and all for one low monthly payment. Dale's Heating and Air offers carefree home comfort. The trusted technicians will install an energy right heating and cooling system with no repair expenses for 10 years, all for one low monthly payment. Plus, there are rebates and tax credits for up to $4,100. Thinking less about heating and cooling just got more affordable. Contact Dale's Heating and Air, 423-236-4000 or just call dales.com. Mix 104.1 and Honda of Cleveland are giving one deserving pastor in our local area a chance to win a 2024 Honda Civic LX. Nominate your favorite pastor today at MyMix1041.com or on the Mix 104.1 app. Do your legs feel heavy, tired, or achy? Dr. James Gooden at Milligan Vein offers an office treatment that can make you look and feel better, and your procedure is covered by most insurance. Visit MilliganVein.com or call Dr. Gooden today at 423-961-5682. Voitech Center for Orthopedic Care treats all orthopedic injuries, including neck and back pain. At Voitech Center for Orthopedic Care, insurance isn't a worry because they accept all insurances and can even get same-day appointments or even walk-ins. Digital x-rays are even on site. Voitech Center is also a certified concussion care specialist. Contact Dr. Voitech and his staff at 479-3600 for your appointment today. The goodness of Hardee's two for five dollar wraps just got better with Hardee's new breakfast wraps. Cheesy egg, bacon, sausage, even creamy homestyle gravy rolled up in a warm tortilla. So now you can mix and match your breakfast favorites all morning, then mix and match the hand breaded chicken flavors you love for lunch and dinner. Morning to night, get two wraps, just five dollars. Hardee's, goodness in the making. Tax not included, exclusion supply by time of day. See restaurant or app for terms. Back here in Murfreesboro, we just had our last TV time out of this game. 43-31, Barrett's on top of 12 with 5.40 to go in the game. Steve, you're sitting where you want to be. Late in the game, 12-point lead, double-digit lead. Everybody's in foul trouble for both teams. Yeah, our two bigs are in foul trouble. You just got to take care of the ball from here on out. Make smart passes. Bartlett basketball under their own goal. Inbound is going to be Carrington Jones. And there's a buzzer, start the inbounds play. Jones will come in, down low, and there's a foul immediately. Oh, that's going to be, I hope that's Harmony. Yeah. No, is that Harmony? Yes. No, that's five. That's on Stovall. 21. That's five on Stovall. Stovall will foul oh, out. Okay, I'm my bad. With uh, 539 to go, and here comes Addie Guerin in the game. And she gets a standing ovation for a huge contingent of Bradley Central fans. Eddie Garens will replace her at the line. It's going to be Rickster again, shooting two. She made her last two. That's by 12 at 43-31, 5-39 in the game now. Stowell out on five fouls. Free throw is no good. She is two for five. She'll have another. Tamora also with four fouls for the Bears. Keep that in mind. Next shot is good. 43-32, the lead 11 for the Bears. They quickly break the press down the floor. Harmony Ware with the ball right side. Goes back out top now to Wilcox. On to Brewer. Who holds the ball. Now they're going to come out and guard. My goodness. How is that not there as a foul? It should have been called three or four steps ago. Fouls on number two, Williams, her first of the game. And team foul number one in the quarter. Barrett's have three fouls in the quarter at 5.23. Down low is going to be Kamora for two. No, missed it, rebound. Bartley takes her away. Got a little deep. They'll go to Rickster quickly down the floor. Each team, and here's a shot up. And a charge. And again. Gaddy Garen takes another, and she's taking some, and this one's on number, that's Rickster. She's got, let's see, looking at the big board, she's got 
three now. Three. And it's team foul number two for Bartlett. Barrett's going to be a three. Back is 21. That's Dakar Ward. She's got four fouls. Harmony Ware will inbounds in backcourt. And she'll come into Eddie Garrett ahead to Brewer. Brewer pushed against the sidelines, but streaks through there. Down low, she goes to Harmony. A blind pass that she nearly threw it away. Wilcox out top. Checked by Morgan Williams. Gets a screen. Keeps that dribble alive. Goes cross court now to Harmony Ware. She'll find Brewer. Brewer to Kimura. Oh, they had it. Look, Brad, I'm not looking to score I, at all right now. I just. Clock is at 441. Bears by 11 with 441 in the game. Inside low, there's a foul on Rickster, her fourth. And Harmony Ware is going to shoot two. Rickster's really objecting to that call. Her fifth, they say? I think it's four. Yeah, four. Ware shooting two. The first shot is good. She's got seven free throws, six buckets, plus a three-pointer. She got 22 lead all scoring. She's my vote for MVP right now if we win. Next shot is also good. In for the Lady Panthers, number 31, Samaya Jones. We're at 437 in the game, best by 13, 45, 32, 13 point lead. And they're trying to say it's five fouls. He said five on the announcement over there. That's what the crowd's screaming about. See, I thought she had five too. Here's a pass inside low. There's a charge, should be. Foul on Bradley. That's Kamora, she's gone. I believe that's Kamora's fifth. Yep. Yes, it is. Moore Fields just fouled out with five fouls, and everybody's screaming that number 21 for them, Ward has five. Official scoreboard says no. At the line shooting two is going to be number 20, 31, Samaya Jones. At 426 in the game, Bears by 12, 45, or 13, excuse me, 45-32, a 13-point lead for the Barretts. Samaya Jones shooting two. The first shot is good. She'll have another. In for the Lady Panthers will be number 14, Spates back in. They're getting, with Bradley's two big girls out of there, they're getting a smaller, quicker team in there, I guess. So Samaya Jones and Richter are still in there. Second shot by Shamaya is no good. Rebound Bradley. That should have been a foul right there. Holy moly. All the possession to the Lady Panthers. The Bradley crowd is about to revolt over here. She come over her back in a big way. We're watching a replay right here. She came over her back. Yeah. Been calling that as a foul. Bartle inbounds at some point. Morgan Williams comes in low. Spates in there, shot. It's up too hard. Rebound on the backside to Malia Wilcox. Sneaks in, takes it away. And she's going to be foul right there. There's a foul. Knocked her into the bench over here. They'll go to Addie Gear in the three point range, right side. It's getting physical in here to say the least. Here's Brewer, and there's a timeout call by Coach Reuter, and we'll take one along with them at 4.05 in the game. This will be just a 30 second timeout for Tennessee Valley Rerology. Well, they're sitting down, it's a 60 second timeout. 4.05 to go, 45, 33, Barrett's by 12. We'll take a one minute break. <laughs> All right, Brooke, so tell me, why did you choose Auto Square? Um, we were just blown away by the customer service. What my husband especially really loved about it is that we did not feel pressured in any way. We kind of fell in love with the car and the people. The person that went over the car with us, with all of the features, was super patient, very detailed. I will definitely be back to Chattanooga Auto Square. Uh, no question about that. Chattanooga Auto Square, luxury lives here. Two of the world's most iconic brands, M&M's and Twix, are made right here in Cleveland at Mars Wrigley, and they are hiring. Production assistant positions starting at $16.19 per hour and team member positions starting at $19.27 per hour plus a $1.50 shift differential and a $1,500 sign-on bonus. Benefits begin day one. Apply at careers.mars.com and search Cleveland. That's careers.mars.com. Mars Wrigley in Cleveland. Your tomorrow starts today. 
Well, our Bradley Concrete game clock shows 4.05 in the game. Bears with a 12-point lead, 45-33, to and they have possession inbound in backcourt. Let's have three fouls on Bartlett and four fouls on the Barrett. So Bartlett would shoot free throws if we should foul them, but we've got the ball right now, Eddie Guerin. And Bradley, I'm sure, has been talking, uh, listen to Coach Ruder talk about, let's kill some time, score for a wide open. Otherwise, let's not take a shot. Harmony Ware with the ball out top. Shifting some players around for the Barrett's. Love Howard has checked in the game for the Barrett's. As we lost Kamora Fields and Tatiana Stovall to five fouls. And here's a turnover for the Barrett's. Down the floor comes Spates on the drive. Inside shot is too hard. And a blocking foul on Addie Guerin. She'll shoot two. 3.28 in the game. Guerin's going to be with for her first foul of the game. It's fifth on the Barrett, so they'll shoot two. It's just going to shoot anyway. Here's a shot attempt. And with 3.28 to go, to the line is Brooklyn Spates, a 5'8 senior, shooting two. Bears 45-33, in case you're listening on radio and not watching the TV feed. Try to keep the update on the score. Free throw is good. Spates, first free throw and first point of the game. 45-34, lead 11 for the Barretts. Got to take care of the ball. Here comes Ward back in. If this is a made free throw, if it's not, it's a live ball. Shot is no good. Rebound, tip to the Barretts. And there's a foul called on Rister. I think she's got five, if that's on her. No, oh, it's on the Barretts. Holy. Yeah, it's on Brewer. She's got three now. Well, they're not seeing the same game we are right now. No. Rister shooting two. Foul should have clearly been on her. At 325 in the game. Barrett still by 11. Richter has made three. She's missed two. Her first one this time is good. 45-35. Lead at 10 again. Still in double digit digits. They're heading down to eight there in the third. One more shot for Richter. Here comes Dakari Ward back in with four fouls. Free throw is also good. Lead at nine. 45-30. Six. Ward in. Checking out is Woods. Bradley ball in backwards. They'll come in to Love Howard. Harmony, where is Malia? Harmony double team in backcourt, trying to spin free and lose the dribble. Out of bounds off of Harmony. Malia Wilcox needs to be bringing the ball up. 3.17 to go. Nine point game. 45 36. Give the ball right back to Bartlett. A 14 point lead has shrunk. They will inbound to Rickster. Rickster doesn't want to handle the ball. Goes back to Carrington Jones. Jones to the right side. Spins by Guerin. Shot up. Blocked away by a Barrett. Wilcox. And it's tipped off the Barrett, they say. And they stay with. Oh, I tell you, our fans stay in the stands, folks. Don't come out here. They're about as mad as I've ever seen the fans. And I see why. Spates will inbounds right baseline. Oh, look the replay. Oh, man, the replay clearly. Here's a steal by the Barretts. Harmony Wire says we'll take the ball. She'll go in the lane to the hoop for two shot. No good, but she'll shoot a foul as Morgan Williams is going to be called for a two shot foul. It is wild and crazy here. Williams, her second for the line for the Barretts. Shooting two is going to be Harmony Ware. First shot is good. She's got nine made free throws, six buckets, a three-pointer. She'll have another. Barrett's back by 10 again. Shot is good again. Barrett's by 11. 47-36, 255 in the game now. Fourth period, girls for a championship here on Mix 104-1. Rickster with the ball, goes to Spates. Spates back to Rickster. Rickster on the drive, lost the handle on it, grabs it back, wants to go up. She does. Follow away shot. No good rim. Fault far out of bounds to Bartlett. Knocked up by the Barretts. And a technical foul. A technical's called on Bartlett's number two, I believe. And let's see what it is. I believe it did. 
Technical foul. Yes, that's on Morgan Williams. So we're going to shoot another technical two free throws for Cleveland Utilities with 237. Boy, that's huge. And we get the ball. Yeah. And the jump air position is in the Barrett's favor. So the free toss is good by Harmony. She's got 11 of those. One more shot. 48 36. Bears by 12 with 237. You can smell it now. You can smell it coming, folks. That shot is good. <clears throat> Harmony has 12 free throws. Bradley has a 13-point lead, and they have the basketball. Harmony wired inbounds from midcourt. She'll come into Brewer. Brewer will find Wilcox in front court. Gets double teaming. Here is Harmony with the ball. She'll be double teamed now. They'll go to Addy again. And oh my. Avery Brewer, and there's a foul on the Panthers. Let's see who this one's on. 12, I believe. 14, I believe. Spates, they hit them. Yep. Nope. 12. 12. That's four on Woods. They've got one, two, three, four players with four fouls. We've had two foul outs. Stovall and Fields on the bench with five fouls each. Brewer's free throw. It's good. She's money there. She only has five points, but Bears have a 14-point lead at 225. One more shot for Avery. It's also good. Bears by 15 points. Williams back into the game. You know, the Bears practice every situation. I'm sure this has been practiced yep. time after time. Richard will bring the ball up. Bradley crowd chanting defense. You can hear them. They're a massive crowd here for the Bears today. Richard goes to space. She wants to drive. She does. She shoots. She's foul. That's going to be Love Howard. Yep, Love Howard commits the foul. It's going to be two shots. Her first at the line will go. Number 14, Spates. Brooklyn Spates. Clock's at 2.11 to go. Bears by 15. 51-36. Shot is good by Spates. She'll have another. 51-37. One more shot coming up. Probably going to see a timeout here. Here comes a new player into the game for the Lady Panthers. They're back into the game. Next shot is no good. Rebound tipped out to the Barretts. So that player will not get checked in. Here comes Wilcox with the Barretts down the floor. We have a triple team chasing her now. Wilcox trying to spin free. Goes cross court to Brewer. Brewer just backs away with a minute 57 to go in the season until another eighth ball is going to come the way of Braddock County. Here is Wilcox on the drive. Love Howard. He's the coach saying foul, foul, foul. They're trying to chase her, and there is a foul on Williams. I believe she's gone. Oh, yeah. No, that's just three. It's be four. And that will send to the line Malia Wilcox tonight. Not scored a point. Who cares? She's got over a 10 rebounds. Yeah. Easy. That's seven in the first half. 141 in the game. Bears by 14. And she's shooting two. Wilcox first free throw's good. Her first point of the night. She'll have another. In for the Lady Panthers, number 31, Samaya Jones. Bears 52 to 37. Wilcox takes a deep breath. She's ready to shoot it. Shot. It's good again. She's got two. Bears now by 16, 53 to 37. I think that's our largest lead of the game. Carrington Jones out top. I thought she'd shoot the three ball, but nope. And inside, well, and here the ball lost, but picked it by Bartlett. Inside, Richter for it. No, she missed the layup. Rebound, Bradley. Malia Wilcox with another rebound. And she'll come spinning by. She's going to be fouled. She'll shoot two more free throws as Spates fouls her. That's only two on Spates, I believe. Number 14, Brooklyn Spates, second. Malia Wilcox, who just picked up two free throws. We'll have two more at 122 in the season. That's by 16. Coach Reuter talking to Addie Guerin and Avery Brewer. Free throw is short this time by Malia. And here comes Dakar Ward back in with four fouls.
One more shot. Malia fires this one, and it's no good. Rebound pulled away by Ward. Rickster. And time's going to be called by Bartlett with 116 to go. And we'll take one right along with him. 116 in the game. Barrett's looking for that eighth goal ball. They lead by 16 points. This will be a full timeout for Tennessee Valley Rock. A 60-second break back in one minute. I'm Chris Cassid with Critical Power Solutions. We are your local authorized Generac dealer for all your backup power needs. Don't be left in the dark. Make a power move. Invest in a Generac home standby generator. Call us today or visit us online at criticalpowersolutionsllc.com. At First Horizon, we know if there's a win, there's a way. Our team is here to help every step of the way with personal, business, or private banking. Stop by and visit us at one of our locations in Cleveland or give us a call at 423-559-7660. At First Horizon, we look forward to finding a way. When most people think of plumbing and electrical supply houses, there's an idea that they're just for plumbers or electricians or builders to shop at. Wholesale Supply is proud to be open to the public and proud to serve our communities. By supplying the best quality products for the best prices with the best service guaranteed, Wholesale Supply is your one-stop shop for everything plumbing, electrical, and HVAC. To find a location near you, visit WholesaleSupply.us for more. Helping build communities in the Southeast for over 80 years is just what we do. Back here at the glass, <coughs> excuse me, the glass house at Murphy, 5337, the Bears by 16, bottle of the ball. And there's a foul on Brewer. Trying to intercept a pass. <laughs> Coach Brewer saying, why? Brewer's got four fouls. We've already lost Kamora Fields and Stovall with five fouls. Shooting two is number one. Carrington Jones has four buckets and a three-pointer for 11. Her first free throw is not. Oh, it bounces high and bounces back. Falls in good. 53-38. 15-point lead for the Barretts. Second shot is good. And here comes Akia Woods in, replacing Dakari, Dakari Ward. They're going to try to use their small, quicker, faster team to take the ball away. They miss, and here comes Harmony Ware up the floor. She'll work the left side, and she's going to be fouled right there. And Morgan Williams has just fouled out. I think No, that's just four on her. She's got four now. And Brandon will shoot two free throws. Harmony Ware to shoot two for Cleveland Utilities at 106 in the game. Bears by 14. And no, that's five on Williams. She has fouled out. And just informed that it's five. So she becomes the third player to foul out. Two for the Barretts. Wins probably wish she hadn't gotten that technical foul now earlier. Free throw is good by Harmony. I've got her for 13 free throws, six buckets. That's 25 and a three-pointer, 28 points. One more shot is up, and it's also good. I think we're looking at an MVP stat. I'd vote for it twice if I could. 55-39, a 16-point lead as we hit one minute in the game. Turn around, shot up, and good for Ward, and time's going to be called by Bartlett. And uh, they'll take a full amount at 57.6, and let's take one for Tennessee Valley Roger. 55-41, a 14-point lead for the Barretts, and we'll be back in 60 seconds. Don Ledford GMC has a deal you can't pass up during our March Slam Dunk Sales Event. You can buy any 2023 or 24 Sierra 1500 LD and you will get up to 15% off or qualified buyers can get financing as low as 2.9 APR for 72 months. March on in and save big at Don Ledford GMC on North Lee Highway in Cleveland or go to DonLedford.com for details. Don Ledford GMC where we say yes. GMC, we are professional grade. Plus tax tag and title and dealer doc fee of $649. 2.9% financing for 72 months is required. Buyers and is equal to $15.15 for $1,000 finance. See dealer for details. Sale ends April 1st, 2024. Tennessee Wesleyan University offers more than 80 majors and minors at the undergraduate and graduate levels. With the TWU pledge, students may be eligible to attend tuition free. A 10 to 1 student to faculty ratio ensures students receive individualized attention, and Tennessee Wesleyan remains one of the most affordable colleges in the region. Visit tnwesleyan.edu to learn more about on campus and online opportunities. Choose Blue at Tennessee Wesleyan University. Time back in with 57 seconds to go in the game. Bears up 55 to 41. They'll inbound in backcourt and immediately be fouled by Carrington Jones. That's going to be five on her. If my book is right. Yeah. It, it is. Right. That's her fifth. Everybody, they have a scoreboard here, shows you fouls and all. And uh, 
She's going to foul out with five. And she is a senior playing her final, and she can't even walk. She is tore up. I feel sorry for him like that. Brewer shooting two for the Barretts and Cleveland Utility. First one is short. Clock's at 56.0. One more shot. It's up. This one's good. She's got seven points. Bass with a 15-point lead at 56-41. Rickster at three-point range. Wants to drive against Harmony. One of the only bigs that didn't get in trouble today. Here's a shot up no good. Rebounded by the Barretts. Harmony takes it out of there. And she's going to be fighting through traffic and gets it to Malia Wilcox. Clocks at 35. Barrett's going to bring it home, and here's a foul on Spakes. And I think she's only got a couple of fouls. The crowd is realizing it now. With 34 seconds to go in the game, the Barrett's are going to bring home their eighth goal ball, the second in a row, and their third under coach Jason Reuter. And they're all juniors, folks, except for... Grace Phillips, free throw is good by Malia. She'll have another. 57-41, lead at 16. The second shot is also good. 58-41. And Grace Phillips will check in for the Barretts. As Addie Guerin will check out Bartlett basketball. They're down by 17, and this game is ours. The championship, the goal ball, is coming back to Bradley Central High School. There's a drive inside, shot up and good for Samaya Jones. We're the final 22 seconds of the game. The champ Barrett's Barrett's begins. Brewer with Wilcox and Harmony Ware in front court now. I think the coach says don't foul again. Clock's at seven, six, and here we go with the countdown. They want Grace Phillips to shoot the ball. And there's the horn, and the Barrett's have done it. They have done it. 58 to 43, the Barrett's win it. To go to 34 and one. State championship number eight, the second in a row for the Barrett's. Over the same team, Bartlett, as they get ready for the handshake, here comes a gold and silver ball out. And the plaques. The announcement of the all-tournament team. Let's take a quick 30-second break and come back after 30 seconds here on Mix 104.1. Get ready for the Southland Finance post-game show here. The Bears win at 58-43. Back in 30 seconds. Did you know you get your electricity from a public power utility? That means you and your neighbors own the utility. Your local government runs the utility just like they run schools and libraries. Cleveland Utilities is here to serve you not to make a profit. Most employees at Cleveland Utilities also live right here in the community. That's why when we say we are your hometown connection, it goes well beyond the services we offer. It's a relationship with friends and neighbors. 48 million people or one in seven electricity customers have public power. Across America, there are about 2,000 public power utilities just like Cleveland Utilities. Public power utilities keep the lights on and prices low. They care about the environment and tell you how to save energy and money and give back to the community. Learn more about public power by visiting Cleveland Utilities or visit www.public.